Are there, wait, y'all did a raid raid? Not just farming Cali? <laughs> we did, yeah. <laughs> Night Demon tried to do a raid. Just to I was going to say, that reaction kind of set it off. He, he, he sure did. I mean, <laughs> no, no, you did, we did, you do did the raid. You did the, the raid. The, 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 the end boss was defeated. I did fast forward to see how it how it concluded <laughs> after many hours. <laughs> I wasn't trying to watch that in real time, but I was. I was going to oh, say, no. let's see how far this group, this group got. We go all the way. We're Titans. We go all the way. Sooner or later, one, one, once you pick Dorito up enough times, <laughs> he said to tell you to stop laughing because he's still crying. Oh, Whatever that means. Did it just take a long time? Is that what it was? Wait, were you at the beginning? What raid was it? Was it Ron? No, it, it was Crota's end. It was Crota's end. And how long do you think Crota's end took? Respawn. Crota's end? I don't know. 45 minutes at the most. <laughs> <laughs> more, more than 45 minutes? <laughs> um, okay. How long do you think it took six Titans to do Crota's end? That's a better question. I mean, if you're going to say six Titans, I would say you didn't finish. But somebody said here you did, so I can't go with that answer. Um, oh, that's a really pretty red on the wedge. That's a very pretty red. Um, Stop getting distracted. Uh, six Titans? Let's say an hour per Titan, six hours. Close enough. Mm-hmm. Are you serious? Half, under- half an hour per Titan. Uh, look, it's not awful. I've seen raids take longer, to be fair. But... It, it was the pig-headedness of the Titans. It was like, we're going to get this done, no matter how long it takes us. And I was like, it, it, I'm going to have to leave at some point. So no matter how long it takes you, <laughs> I'm not going to be here for that. Mm-hmm. What happened is, is you left, went to work, came back. They were still trying the same raid. <laughs> yeah. And you finished. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I think I better roll the titles. Uh, y'all got me crying over here. I can't see. Oh my god. Welcome to Two Titans and a Hunter, a Destiny 2 podcast. Dedicated in bringing you all the latest information, news, and opinions. This is the best show for new and veteran guardians alike, where we share tips, tricks, and tools to help you succeed and enjoy playing even more. So with all that said, let me hand you over to your hosts, the Triumph Hunting Titan Night Demon, the Pink Panted Pansy Puroti, and your Hunter Master Agent, Mr. No One Responds in Real Life! Look at that. Look at the Titans flag below the stage. Look, look at that is that is that is gorgeous. That is amazing. Now, to be fair, every time you guys are like, "Why aren't the hunters playing?" and I said, "Because there's no loot that we want." And I've said time and time and time again, "When there's loot, we will come out in force." And true to my word, the hunters are just smashing it, absolutely smashing it. Now, I also predicted, I told Micah this, I was like, in the beginning, maybe the week, maybe two weeks, hunters are going to be dominating. But once the hunters start to get the gear that they want, you're going to see it begin to taper off. Because they're just going to stop playing. They've got what they want. They're gone. Right? And watch. watch. I don't think re- hunters are going to win all three There's weeks. There's another reason that's going to happen. Why? why? Oh, because reasons. Oh, don't tell reasons. him anything. <laughs> don't tell him no. anything. No, I, I'm just saying... And I'm just saying there could be a second set of reasonings why this could be happening. Yeah. That's all. So welcome to this. Um, uh, well, we're going to call this the Guardian Games edition of the podcast in that we're going to have yeah. a lot of bugs. Some things just flat out aren't going to work at all. Something. And uh, we might just pull things out from under you halfway through. Oh, that's right. I was complaining about the Guardian Games medals, right? Oh, I have been no life the- in this game. Yeah, you were complaining about all sorts of things. What, what, what's a topic yeah. you were not complaining about? Let's start there. <laughs> uh, what I'm not complaining about, they have a good role for the title. Uh, what I'm not list. complaining about. Um, the, the adjudicator. What do you mean title? Go get yourself some adjudicators, my friend. I have. I, dude, Michael Force would no, no, adjudicators. Don't. I have all the adjudicators. I'm adjudicated no, out. Nope. Okay? There, there could be more. There could be more adjudicators. I, but I don't want them. 
you could be adjudicating more right. better. But why? Because why not? Because adjudicator is not the title. Um, I mean, I did get like the role I have on me right now is is not bad. I have feeding frenzy rampage on an adjudicator. It's not bad. I have a subsistence target lock role, and I have like thirty others in the vault. I mean, you know, not bad. Well, that's why. A, a respawn. I, I cracked the case. What? I cracked the case. What? Remember when you said you you had cleaned your vault out and now you're back to five ninety five? I figured it out. What? It's not full of adjudicators. <laughs> like, no, it's not full of adjudicators. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. You just told me it was. There's thirty of them. That's full. Yeah, but I cleared like eighty slots, dude. I should have more than five slots right now. Well, you have you have you have other other adjudicators that are sitting there. Adjudicators and other things that aren't adjudicators. Mm-hmm. 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 There's no such thing as something that's not an adjudicator right now. Um, but anyway, let's see what else. The, oh, the auto rifle from the same uh, dungeon, the prophecy. It's got a really good roll on. It's got a few good rolls on it actually that I'm a big fan of. Like I really want to try the rewind and the target lock. And yes, I know target lock has been nerfed, but rewind will compensate for that. So yeah, anyway, welcome to the show. We've just had a couple of minutes of respawns, positive and negatives of the Guardian Games there. I didn't really get to the negatives yet. Oh, okay. There's more to come. <laughs> Those are all hey. positives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the negative is you can't focus a weapon, right? You hear the Guardian Games. We're just going to jump all over the place this week. Yep, go on. Yeah. Yep. You should, you, no, you should be able to, I'm still on weapons, dude. I haven't left weapons yet. Uh... It is is like like if you want something like if you want to get roll of the hollow blue, I mean they literally throw them at you. You're probably going to get one anyway. But yeah, I mean that should give you some way to focus it, even if you have to use metals to focus things. Whatever, it's Guardian Games. We should have the option to at least go for the weapon that we want, not get six hundred and seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven million seven hundred seventy seven. Uh, and I know that's not how numbers work. Hollow blues, you know, we should be able to focus what we want some kind of way, and you can't. You just can't. We've had Guardian Games. We've had Prophecy updates. We've had sort of Crucible updates. And we've had so much loot thrown at us that we are kind of got so much stuff to do in the game. It's like a mini refresh of the whole game. Are you mm. guys feeling the same? Are you feeling that there's, there's loads of stuff to do? Because that's what I'm feeling at the moment. It's just that there's... Loads of stuff to do? No. It's it's the same thing with a different look, is what it is. No, I mean, like, we, we have the Guardian games, so if you want yeah. to play the Guardian games to get some of the new weapons, fine, you can go and do that. But also, you've got, like, the prophecy with the new weapons and the new roles, and you've also got, like, the, the farming of Cali that you can do this week, and the prophecy, so it's fantastic that there's so much to do this week. So, let's see, how did this week start with? This week started with uh, Infinite Lost Sector Runs. Yeah, mm-hmm. because you were walking to a lost sector, and they were, you know, to a master in Legend Lost Sector, they were completing immediately. I yeah. got through exactly one run before Bungie pulled Lost Sectors from the game entirely, or you uh-huh. know, the you know pulled the flag out and said, "No, no, none of that." So I think some people were farming some armor. So we, I was talking with Noble and Andy, going, "Let yeah. me grab my hunter. Let me walk in and get." I think it was leg day. I was like, "Let me get all the exotic legs. This will take two minutes." Leg day. To just to just <laughs> drop them all, and then it was like, "No, no, we we pulled that." So if you were on a reset. You had a good, I don't know, three, four hours of farming. You could have done Lost Sectors on, because uh, that word, I feel like, spread pretty quickly. Dude, uh, let's it. see, Dares of Eternity, uh, the first two parts of it were completing automatically. You would walk in, and the first two pieces would just complete and then send you to the boss immediately. So if you were trying to get Dares done, you could get that done super quickly. Uh, was there anything else wildly broken? Uh, you couldn't farm the prophecy dungeon at first. Like, you know, it wasn't giving you additional weapon drops. That's been fixed. Uh, the lost sectors have since been fixed. Dares, I assume has been fixed, but I've heard literally, I've seen nothing about it from Bungie at all. Like not even an acknowledgement on any of their, of their channels. So maybe dares is fixed. Maybe it's not. Who really knows? Maybe they just turned dares off and we're like, we don't need dares. Why would we want that? Right. Uh, Crucible Supremacy didn't have the new matchmaking stuff applied to it at first. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I'm I, again, <laughs> still still haven't seen anything other than no, them going. Yeah. Um, so this is broken. Still haven't seen anything more beyond that. So maybe it's broken. Maybe it's not broken. I don't really know. Well, apparently it's only Supremacy 
in the Guardian games, if you go to the Crucible yeah. version, it's normal. Well, it's the updated version of the sandbox. So I think it's because they could just basically ported last year's version of supremacy into the crucible or into the tower that's where you can kind of get it from and yeah. that's basically the reason why <laughs> it's like um yeah we'll we're, yeah. we're sort it out later why, why apply these things yeah and and now of course they've they've turned off uh, a certain something we'll get to later so yeah but i think that's sort of the how how the game went i mean the 12 this week is mostly known issues I mean, it's been a very broken game, but honestly, like in the player's favor for <laughs> once, it, 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 like, like it wasn't like, oh, by the way, you can't get loot from this or this isn't dropping at all, which we've seen in the past. Hey, this new weapon's out and you just can't acquire it. Uh, although the new trials, uh, passage of persistence, Bungie has clarified, and we'll get to that in the respawn report roundup, how <laughs> the trials of persistence actually, you know, the, the card, the persistence card actually works in theory. Cause I've also seen some people going, Hey, so I went flawless on the persistence card and didn't get my adept loot to drop. Um, oh yeah. yeah, good times um, all around. Because yeah, I was going to suggest that we do that today. I thought, you know, what could we do during the podcast? Could we go and do a bit of trials to see what it's like? You know, and no. really bang our heads against the wall and, no. and make me small and cry, or could we farm Cali like we've done at the beginning of the week? And I thought, you yeah. know, farming Cali is probably a little bit better. Yes. Farming Cali will at least probably end up with loot. The passage of persistence card again. We'll get into details <laughs> later, but basically, it's like you, you you basically have to get a you have to get a couple of wins first for uh, it to really mean anything. And <laughs> Mercules has clarified this. Bungie, I think either Destiny Team or Bungie Help has clarified this because it was not clear at all how this card actually was, how they described it functioning versus you know how it started, how it's going. Here's how we told you it's going to work. Here's how it actually works, and those are different things. <laughs> Well, yeah, you'd assume that you could go in and just get your seven kind of wins in a row, but maybe not. You you really would assume that. And, and you'd assume you'd get the loot from it, too. You'd also assume you would get Artifice Armor that would be, you know, worthwhile. No, no, there's no, there's, no artifice, <laughs> there's no Artifice in there. Not not in there, but but the Artifice Armor in uh, in competitive, yeah. you, you'd think would be, you know, worthwhile and have a good role to it. And, oh, yeah, because you you've it. just updated it, haven't you? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, I mean, it's dropping for people, but it's you know it's dropping poorly. So you can get bad artifice armor dep- oh, potentially. Why? Why did we know? Why did we literally? Why did we know that this was going to be the thing? Right. Because it's always the thing? Question mark. Oh, I don't. Yeah, so I, you know, I don't know to be honest. So welcome back to the regular games. I think, right. I, I think that's all the big like major like hey this wasn't working and now it's working. Oh oh in game chat. Oh uh, yes, game chat. Uh, game, anyway. game chat. They now game chat was broken across the board. To be fair, it was broken across the board on both consoles. Bungie has said, uh, "Hey, we're aware we're players who you know we're aware uh, people on PlayStation are unable to use the game or the voice chat." What they didn't mention is, oh, by the way, Xbox, we're just gonna periodically break your game game chat and voice chat throughout the week. I was I was midway through a dungeon run of Prophecy with blue screen. And after the first boss encounter, we were just using game chat. All of a sudden, everything went silent. I was like, either Blue doesn't like me anymore or something broke. And then he sent me a party invite. It's like, oh, guess game chat broke again. So game chat has just been in and out all week. I mean, it it still appears to be down for PlayStation. Like since March 5th, they said, hey, we're investigating an issue that is broken for PlayStation. Haven't seen an update since then. Now, I mean, maybe it's in the TWAB. I don't remember all the things they covered in the TWAB. We'll get there when we get there. But so, yeah, so if you're trying to use any game chat on a console this week, um, you can't. So, you know, make good use of your Discord channels or your parties if you're all on the same console. Mm-hmm. Or or you just invite a certain PlayStation player in with the Xbox players who, and just don't invite him to the Xbox party because he should be on Xbox. And that's that, that's how that should go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a couple of interesting kind of interactions this week with using Fireteam Chat because I've like I said a, a couple of weeks back or about a month back that I really wanted to kind of use Fireteam Finder to actually start doing raids and and do a lot more kind of end game stuff and see how it kind of plays out because there was a lot of kind of buzz about it to start off with and then it I think it's now kind of petered out to the fact that it's like any other kind of LFG that you know it is hit and miss so you just don't know whether you're going right. to get the good team or you're going to get the bad team there are still people that 
sign up for these things that still don't read the must need a microphone to do these <laughs> high end things mm-hmm. like doing Again, a raid. Reading is power, and we're doing a nightfall. I mean, if it says that you yeah. do not need, then yeah, sure, just you don't need to have. <laughs> The blooming microphone, but it's like, oh my word. But if six people are trying to accomplish a single task that maybe perchance involves passing a ball back and forth or, you know, doing damage at a certain time, moving in and out of an area, you might want to be able to talk to each other. Just a thought. Yeah, I've I was I was watching I was watching after the fact the 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 stream you did night even where Noble joined you, and I'm going, are any of them? I saw I saw the guy with Autumn Wind in the name. Like, I saw his his name popping up in, like, you know, the game chat thing. So I was yeah. like, that dude's talking or has music on in the background, because I don't think there was a frame without his name on it. <laughs> I'm going, is anyone else talking to anyone? Or are they all just, like, running through these lamps going, we're going to hope for the best? I think I, I think we'll just, we'll just sort of, you know, hope for the best and see what happens. That was the case, wasn't it? It was like, we're just going to run through this and hope for the best and get things done for the diamond card i believe it was for the guardian games yeah. now yeah. that that's a, a unique thing because i thought I'll, I'll pick it up and see what happens and the one that i got was you've got to do a raid with you all of all six members as whatever class you are yep and being a fan of the last wish at the moment kind of get all my my red borders and things i looked on last wish there was nobody doing it so i just went down from the top and went Crota's end and then there was people already kind of queuing up for it so I went into there and uh, there were, I think there was three of us talking so we were all ch- chatting away and we get to readying up and everyone's going has so-and-so got a mic has so-and-so got a mic uh, how many <laughs> of us have got mics well four of us have got mics this should be doable and I'm like I think I've signed up for the wrong one already <laughs> but uh, you know you it's never know you never know if those silent players are the ones that, that, that kind of are the uh, are amazing and can kind the of just ones, hurry. yeah they yeah, don't right. need the mic because they've got so much experience yeah. doing it without one kind of thing i i, I was kind of wrong because we had dorito <laughs> on our team that he he was uh i believe he was portuguese so he could understand a little bit of english but when you told we, we got through the lamps eventually with Dorito, but when you told Dorito that you know he needed to kind of pass the chalice to go across the bridge, what you meant by Dorito, you meant an actual person. Yeah, his yeah. name was Dorito. Bless him. Yeah, it, it was a bit hard to kind of explain to him that he needed to cross the bridge with the thing uh, to get the thing, and then it was like, oh no. When you and the yeah, chat were talking about Dorito, I thought you meant like the whole controversy that happened with Dorito this week, and I thought you were like making a joke about it. And I, I didn't get it, but no, it's an actual person. Nobody named knows what that Rita. is. And yeah, that, right. that's, okay. the thing I, that's the thing I forget about that. You know, like you, if you're LFG from, from, you know, from Europe, you could get all, you know, all sorts of people, all sorts of languages. Like, like we have, you know, a big giant country for the most part, you're going to find people you can talk to. I, I, I totally forget about when you LFG that you might be like, okay, we've got a French guy. We've got a Portuguese guy. We've got the English guy. We've got the German guy. Hopefully we all speak English. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. To add a little bit of a uh, excitement to your day. Yeah, no, and- I only get the Germans. Like legit, I don't know what it is about my region or my PC or whatever, but it's almost always Germans. Up to and including Noble. Yeah, they, they, they can they can sense the anger and they're like, yes, <laughs> this one this one flows strong with it. Uh huh. Yeah. My story. I'm sick to it. Yeah, so in the end, I think Dorito got booted, bless him, because he it just there was no way that we were going to be able to cross the bridge with Dorito not understanding what we were kind of doing. So yeah. Dorito got booted, Noble got brought in, and then Noble realized the mistake that he'd made by coming in. Because <laughs> I think even that, it then took us another, you know, two and a half hours to continue and finish doing the raid. But at one point, you completely bugged out and we com- we completely decimated her. This one guy was like, switch to, to Strand if you've got Strand, use a one-two punch shotgun, and just like melee to her, or grappled her, punch her, use the shotgun, and keep repeatedly. <laughs> and we were doing like uh, like four million, the, the, the three of us that were kind of using it. And we were banging our heads against the wall because there were a couple of other people that just weren't using it. And we eventually got it done. We kind of <laughs> beat her to death. And uh, it went to... Uh, it then it didn't nothing happened. There was no kind of <laughs> chest, and it was like, um, 
<laughs> really? What you would that and didn't get a chest? What are we doing? <laughs> and the enemies just kept spawning in, and then it came up in rage. I mean, she wasn't there at all, but she got enraged and then just wiped us. And we thought, you know, maybe we'll get something, but no, we didn't. You're like, that's rude. <laughs> yeah, um, but we, no, we eventually got that done, and um, then you say eventually, but Noble is 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 very upsetty spaghetti with you. He, he dragged me into it. <laughs> no, he signed up for the wrong raid. <laughs> I mean, you you know you know what you did. I I I got on the other morning and like I just turned the Xbox on, went to go get coffee, came back. It was I don't know. I don't remember what morning it was. It was early though. I think it and was Wednesday, I, wasn't it? Yeah, and then I come back to like a party invite and like two game invites from Night Demon. I'm going okay, what is he up to? Because I saw he was online, but I was like, what are you doing? Because normally he's <laughs> online and I go join him and I go, hey, he's like, oh, look at you. He was farming Cali with with a guy, Craig is here, who was the poor guy hoping hoping for a rocket launcher. I'm not sure he ever got. And he's like, come farm Cali with us. I was like, what do I need? He's like, just show up. Go yeah. up and bring damage. I was like, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> we farmed with well, that I mean- group for a while in the morning. And, you know, had, you know, he, 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 you know, our buddy Craig is here knew what he was doing. And poor guy was trying to get the rocket launcher. He kept sending text messages. He's like, he's like, it's 5 a.m. I need to go to bed, but I just want this rocket launcher to drop for me. <laughs> yeah, I think he was looking for one apex predator, wasn't he? Bless him. Mm-hmm. He's oh. like, I've gotten everything else to drop. I can't get the one thing I'm looking for. I'm like, yep, that, that's Destiny, all right. Yep. You want Destiny to foil your plans? Tell them what they are, right? But they, that's uh, what I'm saying. I mean, my, my thought about doing the farming of Cali, uh, since we've got the last wish up this week, was because I, what, I, I do want to kind of use the Riven's wishes to kind of maybe round out getting some of these weapons. And I know it's been a long time coming, and I could have done this any other week. But I was thinking, you know, this week I've got a little bit of time. I can set aside some time to do Cali. But then I missed out on doing the prophecy farming, which you and Blue were doing, wasn't it, Parody? Yeah, yeah, prophecy was good fun. Yeah, we jumped in and two manned it and said, "This is." It was it was almost laughable how easy a time we had with it. Like like we didn't do we like our damage faces were not on point. We were not you know perfectly coordinated, and we were just rolling through that thing. Yeah, and then we took cooked through. He's like, "I've never been through it." I was like, "Come on, let's go do it. Let's run it again." Got him through it, no problem. It was good fun. Ended up with a whole bunch of loot. Didn't get a, didn't get many adjudicators, but I I had so few weapon from that dungeon that I'd kept over time. It yeah. kept giving me transfigurations. Can we can we just talk about the transfiguration? Yeah, okay. for a hot minute. And now what that I'm saying that, is that the one that drops? That, that drops from the dungeon, right? Not the raid, because I have. Oh, yeah, because no, I have the raid. Oh, is, is raid okay? Oh, that's well, the raid one, one, yeah. We're gonna talk about the transfiguration. All the anyway. ones from the dungeon are, are like related to law, like like yeah, the Charles uh, of Night, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 things like that. Yeah. Well, I still want to talk about the transfiguration. Is that I now have a billion of them, and I don't want any of them. So, Bungie, could could we stop with that? But yeah, like like the the dungeon weapons just handy out like candy. It was it was so nice just to see those over and over again with good rolls, with fun things to them. So I'm yeah. glad you got them because <laughs> we and Micah kept fun. getting freaking armor, armor, well, I mean, I mean, armor. I did end up with a, a number of butt capes. And um, yeah. did 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 you take your skimmer over the Rainbow Road part and just go? They did. I didn't. I yeah. can skip this entire thing and just yeah. skim all the way down to the last room, loot the secret chest, and move on. Mm-hmm. That's lovely. That was just that was so much fun. Going, we can just skip this whole part now. We can that, just that's skim. absolutely going to get nerfed. I, how it, it how do I skim? How do I skim? Because I I got have little tutorials online, buddy. So so <laughs> you 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 skim. So so we also Blue and I had no idea what we were doing because we we had the skimmer hadn't actually put it on yet. Okay. So basically, jump off the edge of something and just and like press B, and okay. you'll you, and you'll oh, you change the skimming. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like, like it'll just hit B and then you'll do the, you know, whole rail grinding skimming animation and you have a bar that goes down. So you can just skim and unskim, skim and unskim. You can just keep, you know, turning it on and off while you're in the air and just skim forever. There's there I mean, you know, people have gone across the hellmouth with it. We did Rainbow Road with it, no problem, down to the last room. Yeah, it just goes forever. Yeah, nice. it, yeah, it did it did take a minute of of one of us going let me stand here and you try to skim while we figure this out so we don't just fall to our deaths immediately. Because <laughs> yeah. the I first time we definitely yeah. hit the wrong button and was like, oh no, that's not the right one. <laughs> yeah, I, I just kept jumping off. I was like, um, there it must be a button to do this skimming, but I didn't realize you had to have, jump off of something to, to do it. So, okay, so that makes sense now. Well, the problem is you, you're missing the best part of that whole raid, trying to stay on the, on, on the raid, the dungeon. Trying to stay on the ribbon is the best minigame ever, dude. 
It's a mixture uh, of Rainbow Road Mario Kart and something blasting you off the side of it. The fact that you just I, I was just gonna say, I, I've, you're hurting yourself. No, see, I, I've played enough Mario Kart in my time. I, I don't need that experience again. I've had <laughs> I've had the Mario Kart experience. I, I played many many hours on the Super Nintendo of the Mario Kart right. Rainbow Road and gotten the secret jump where you could bypass part of the track by using the boost. I've played my I've played my Rainbow Road. I'm done now. I, I don't need Rainbow Road again. Man, you know, nowadays, I mean, yes, they do have more Mario Karts, but it's never going to be as good as, like, the original Nintendo Mario Kart, you know? Or, or dare I say oh, it, Double Dash? Oh, my God. Double Dash was amazing. But, um, yeah, kids are going to miss out on the fun stuff. So, so Respawn, how, how do you feel about half the weapons pointing the wrong direction? What? The we- the weapon icons w- when you get them from the dungeon things are pointing oh, the wrong direction. Yeah, they are. And people are like, and people are like, why why did you do this to us, Bungie? Yeah, you, why, why, why? you brought on my autism here. Please don't yeah. do this. <laughs> why why do half the weapons point the right way and half the ones point the wrong way? Why? Oh, like my demon! What'd you do? Me? What do you mean? He, he did nothing I mean, at all. Broke the, you broke the weapons. What happened? Oh, okay. No, no, no I don't he, know. he didn't break them. So, so you're telling me it's Summoner next weekend, not Summoner this weekend? So I should summoner. ignore Trials this weekend and play next weekend? Well, i tell you what. If I drop in here what is happening next week in Destiny, you'll be able to listen and, and know what's happening next week. I will, in three short minutes. This is your weekly rundown of Season 23, Week 16, Season of the Wish. The Dreaming City this week is at a strong curse level, which means Petra Venge can be found in Rio Sylvia and has the Dark Monastery mission for the next week. The Blind World features Taken Enemies and the Plague Inamina. The Ascendant Challenge this week will be Ouroboros, which can be located over in the Affiliates Rest Lost Sector. On the Moon, the weekly story mission is in the Deep. The Trove Guardian is located in the Hellmouth, while the Wandering Nightmare is the Nightmare of Zortal in Sorrow's Harbour. Nightmare hunts Korota, Despair, Omnigal, Anguish, and Fanatic Insanity. On Europa this week, Thraxis the Technocrat will be the Empire Hunt, Cadmus Ridge will be the Eclipse Zone, and the Exo Change will be Safeguard. Dares of Attenting Legendary Rounds are Hive, Fallen, and Valister Arm. The Scatterhorn Armor Set and the Lightkin Armor Set will be available in Dares of Eternity with Weapon Set 3, Chroma Rush, Ignition Code, Grid Skipper, Farewell, Sonja's Tail, Shattered Cipher, Main Ingredient, Long Shadow, Last Dance, Toil and Trouble, Wishbringer, and Last Perdition. The Witch Queen Weekly Story Mission is The Ritual, Altar of Reflections Choice, and Altar of Reflections Insight. The Lightfall weekly mission is Desperate Measures, Partition mission will be Hard Reset, and the Vex Incursion this week will be Liming Harbour. The Crota's End Raid Challenge this week is the second encounter, Cross the Bridge, called Precarious Balance. The Root of Nightmares Raid Challenge this week is the third encounter, Macrocosm, called Cosmic Equilibrium. The King's Fall Raid Challenge this week is the third encounter, Golgroth, called Gaze Amaze. The Vow the Disciple Challenge this week is the fourth encounter, Rolk, called Looping Catalyst. The Vault of Glass Challenge this week is the fourth encounter, Gatekeeper, called Strangers in Time. The Deepstone Crypt Challenge this week is the second encounter, Atrax 1, called Copies of Copies. And the Last Wish Challenge this week is the third encounter, Morgoth, called Forever Fight. Your Pinnacle Raid will be the Garden of Salvation over on the moon, which means all challenges will be available for each encounter, with the Exotic Trace Rifle Divinity being the Raid Quest Exotic. The Pinnacle Dungeon will be the Spire of the Watcher over on the Throne World, and our Exotic Mission Rotator will be Operation Service Shield, with the Revision Zero Exotic Pulse Rifle being the main reward. The Season of the Ceres Weapon Set, and Ikelos weapon set with the Warman's Avatar armor set. We have now had all 66 challenges over the first 10 weeks of the season. So, as a reminder, if you complete 63 out of the 66, you can get a large pile of bright dust to spend at the Eververse store in game. Lost Sectors Tuesday Thriller Drome on Neptune for exotic helmets, Wednesday Gilded Precept on Neptune for exotic boots, Thursday Scavenger's Den on the EDZ for exotic gauntlets, Friday Sky.4 on the EDZ for exotic chests, Saturday The Quarry on the EDZ for exotic helmets. Sunday, Affiliates Rest on the Dreaming City for Exotic Boots, and Monday, Bay of Drowned Wishes on the Dreaming City for Exotic Gauntlets. Also, this week's weapon rotation will start on set 2 on Tuesday's reset. Our 16th feature, Nightfall, will see us face off against Gorgath in the Reprise Lake of Shadows over on the EDZ, with the Undercurrent Grenade Launcher or the pre Axe 4 Bow being the featured weapon. The 66 Control Node will feature Control, Guardian Game Supremacy in the Party Relentless playlist, Elimination in the 3v3 playlist, the new game mode, Collision in Crucible Labs, and the mid-season updated Trials of Osiris Dominion at the weekend, with the Summoner Auto Rifle being the featured adept weapon. Plus, bonus Vanguard ranks and Nightfall rewards available all week long. Also, we still have Guardian Games All-Stars running from March 5th to March 26th, 2024. 
where you can earn the brand new exotic vehicle, the Skimmer, and the new arc heavy grenade launcher, the Hullabaloo. Plus, we still have Moments of Triumph 2023 and Riven's Wishes. Also, as a reminder, starting March 5th, 2024, you can collect a free pile of 700 Bright Dust from the Eververse store every week up until the final shape's release. And that's it for the 16th week of Season of the Wish. And now I know. Well, I mean, I don't. <laughs> yeah, well, now I know. Go get my summoner, because I, I, I pulled the old one out of the vault, and which is, you know, granted a PvE summoner, so I need to go get some more PvP summoners, because that's, that's their native habitat. That's where they want to be used. So I know we've been talking about doing like farming and I will link a couple of videos. I'll link, I've got an esoteric video where he solo farms <laughs> Cali. If you want to make everyone feel bad about themselves, watch that video. <laughs> no, but I recommend kind of bringing in a whole team with you because somebody knows how to do it and get it done without kind of having to worry about the stuff because I can't seem to do it solo. I followed the video so many times I've been in here mm -hmm. practicing and, and asking other people <laughs> like how they're doing it. And I just can't do it by myself, but it seems to work when I'm with other people. So I, I'm going to do it with other people. So I'll link you that video. So you might be able to do it because I, I definitely can't. And the other one that I'll link is the, I think Ibontis did a solo guide or a guide to doing the prophecy dungeon. I know it probably won't come back around for another six weeks, but it will be there in six weeks. You can then farm it at that point. But in the meantime, you could probably go and practice. If you do solo flawless it, you do get emblems and, and you know, the rewards of doing it uh, solo flawless. You, so, you know, you've got maybe six weeks to practice that. And the same with Callie, you know, Callie will come back around in about six weeks. So mm -hmm. good times. Although I don't know if that will be the rotation because where they've messed about with putting the prophecy for the last two weeks, uh, I'm not sure 100% on the rot rotation. I thought that it was going to be uh, Ghost of the Deep this week, but it isn't. It's Spire of the Watcher. So yeah, they, they have they they've claimed... kind of messed with them. Yeah, they claimed the order, you know, they claimed the rotation hadn't changed. They just put double prophecies up so people could farm it last week with the old, you know, the old weapon pool. Yeah. Now, what's actually happened? Yeah, yeah who knows? But they, they, they say they haven't messed with the rotations. No. A lot of things. They also say that the, uh, the perks are not weighted, but yet I can't tell you how many times I got the same adjudicator <laughs> in a row with the same rolls in a row. But no, they're mm -hmm. not weighted in any kind of a way. No, it's complete oh. RNG. It probably is complete RNG, so it could just be the same exact roll 16 times. Just like when, just like when you go to focus a weapon, and it's like, oh, you're going to get whatever perk of the moment it is, you're going to get that perk over and over and over yeah. again on everything. But no, it's not weighted in any way, shape, or form. No, of course not. No. God, that's so Infuriating. Hey guys, on a controller, what does the left button do on an Xbox controller in this game? You're going to need to be more precise. There's a number of them. No, no, no. It's the called bumper, the, oh, trigger? bumper, 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 not button, bumper. Yeah. Grenade. Your, grenade, unless you've reset it. Uh, no, mine doesn't do that. My right one is a grenade right there. Well, then the it's whatever you set yours to. Yeah. Then I can't tell you if you remap them. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, yes. it, doesn't, it doesn't appear to do anything maybe maybe melee because <laughs> melee is my right bumper maybe you're nah maybe that's my left that's my right stick clicking down is my melee then i don't know what to tell you then then uh, you, you've you've messed with it and i can't tell you how you've broken it well sir what i can tell you is <laughs> is a dedicated way i'm as a lovely human being you know why because he does things our, he does he's one of our fine patrons he's gone to patreon.com slash ttah and he is one of oh, our lovely lovely what? patrons like Zeb Orbit, who cannot be threatened with a good time. Well, he, the dedicated Wham himself is part of the Otter Dance Troupe. Have you, have you noticed his dancing? His dancing is incredible. Him alongside the T-Rex King, Scarlet Cam, and Mellow Melly. Incredible dancers. Just phenomenal dancers. Are you doing they're the dancing, outro? They're dancing. No, we're, we're not doing the outro. We're just putting the patrons up here because we love them and appreciate them. Yeah, we don't, okay. have, we don't and, have to do the patrons at the end. <laughs> we can do the patrons wherever we like. You, we don't tell me how to, you don't tell me how to thank our people. We love our people. We Bro, love Harvard 2782. Habit, we love I, Golden I, I God 1562, say. Noble, Basically Salt, Fire Squad 1688, and Coderson 105 for throwing those grenades so all of our lovely dancers could dance. And Deacon, you know, there, there's a slot open on the Day One Raid team now. Didn't we, Gravy Jeff, PB Pipe? They might take that slot. They could be the next Day One Raiders. We don't know. Yeah. So yeah, no, just thank you all very, very much. And if you're interested in being a patron, patreon.com slash TTH, and you'll get our undying love and affection. And uh, we'll, we'll toss things out to you if we're going to go, you know, farm Cali and going, hey, we need some people. 
like we tried the other morning going, hey, there's 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 four of us. We could get more humans. But there were no humans awake at very, very early hours because some of you people live on the wrong coast and it's even more <laughs> hours away from UK. And uh, yeah, on it was like, you know, 4 a.m. You're going you're going. It's 4 a.m. Why? Why are you messaging me? Because, you know, hey, we're trying. We didn't say we messaged you at sensible times, only silly times when we're playing games. Yeah, uh, you, so, yeah. you really need to read the fine print in the uh, in the Patreon channel. I mean, that's your fault. You know, it's Did there. You you all the it. terms and the conditions, or just some <laughs> of the conditions. Oh, biscuits! And I suppose while we're here talking about other people and and things that we kind of we love, we do love our sister podcasts. So we have the Guardian Down, we have the Guardian Hub, we have the Blue Blue Lounge, and the Potato Thumbs. Am I missing any others? Probably. But yeah, so you can check out our other podcasts. So if you join our Discord, you have mm-hmm. access to us, but then you can find other people to kind of game with. And they set up gaming nights and raids. There's scrims. There's also, you know, just making new friends. That's also what we like to do as well. Connect people. So if you don't feel the, the need to kind of, or you don't feel confident in doing a fire team finder and you want to kind of fill out a, a community, then we have the perfect community for you. So join. Send a message, have a little chat. You might find a friend for life, like I have with these two, and then drag them into a podcast for six years plus. Yeah, friend is a strong. Word. That's exactly how this works. And 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 I mean, as discussed, we we are the entryway by which people find all the shows. They come in through the door here, and then they go stay other places because mm-hmm. they've built communities and are on Discord and and are, are organized. Honestly, we're less organized. We're just here to have fun and hang out. So yeah. So should we move into the shortest of short this week at Bungie's for the 7th of March? Yep. The, the, the oops, all, oops All is, Issues? Is no week at Bungie. Yeah, the Oops All Issues version. Or yeah. we, we could, you know, let Respawn have the floor and talk about how amazing Hunters are and how they've stepped up to take the Guardian Games by the scruff of the neck and win after the first week. Two, yeah. two years of moaning, I think it was. I wasn't mm-hmm. moaning. You've been moaning for the last two years, at least. About well, the I've said there's no point in us playing. There's no loot, and they fudge with the numbers. That's that's not moaning. That's a fact, right? We've got we've got tape on the moaning. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just look, man. You call it what you want, but it, it's facts, all right. And I also told y'all, sure enough, that when there's loot that hunters want, they will they will come out in force. And true to my word, hunters have done exactly that. And there's a surfboard hunters want, and there's a really good. Uh, submachine gun that's got a, a god void role if you like the whole invis hunter in you know just constant healing constant invis constant debuffs kind of primary weapon right so you know th- there's there's that going for it so there, there's loot for hunters to get right and like i said they've come out in force and i'm super proud of them but at the same time i also don't think we're going to win the overall guardian games we, we won this past week we might even win the next week, but I doubt we'll win the third only because the hunters are here for the loot. And once they get the loot, you're going to see the numbers start to taper off as hunters go do other things, you know? You know, I'm glad you brought that up because I, I know you want to kind of cover your back for the fact that if they do lose, you'll have an excuse. It's not. That's how hunters operate. <laughs> loot. Loot-based people, dude. Very simple creatures. We're, Titan no. Punch, Hunter's Loot, that's it. No, we all loot. That's why we're here to play Destiny. We like the loot. We're here to get the loot. And exactly what we're doing now, loot hunting. And that's that's not just hunters. That's all of us. I mean, I've I've just now unlocked the last two red borders I didn't have from this. So I'm just here helping y'all out. There you go. See? <laughs> and this is where we renew our call to say, um, could you could you please give us a place to put put our loot? We, oh my word! We, we we would like to put the loot places. We're we're excited to get the loot. What do you mean? Oh my word! He's got a point. He's absolutely right. What do you mean? No, oh no, I know. I, I, like it is one of the banes of this game. Is that? I, I mean, I was thinking it this week. Is that now getting into like really heavy raiding and getting these weapons to drop with the red borders? Do I keep some of them around just in case I can't get a red border so that I can use the uh, like infusion material to get a, put it into a red border to use it or do I kind mm-hmm. of just keep farming all these different raids to then get the red borders to drop? But then once I've got those red bordered weapons and I've then can craft them, they've got to go somewhere. And my vault can't accommodate. It just it won't work. I'll just I'm gonna to have to delete every blooming exotic that I've got, which is ridiculous. Well exotic weapon anyway. 
Yeah, I do. I also had to go through and all of my main builds that I use for every subclass, I had to put on all those armors, mark those armors so I don't accidentally delete them, and then delete all the other armor that isn't high enough to, to be a part of one of my builds. You know what I mean? And somehow it's all been filled up miraculously over the past week, and I don't know how. <laughs> it's, it's Guardian Games. Guardian Games gives you so much loot from just like picking up all those different cards. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but the hullabaloo. I mean, I'm gonna keep complaining about that because it's ridiculous that how 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 many of those you get. It's like there's at least two other weapons in this game, so I've heard. Right? Just yeah. come on. <laughs> You can't stop an edge trance and respawn. It simply can't be done. Well, I've heard I've heard really good things about the hullabaloo, and there was I've got a video I think by Astacross going over why it's really good. And then it's a frame. that's why it's really good. <laughs> yeah, but then I've also had kind of people like listening on podcasts that are going, uh, you know, it, it's nothing to write home about. Even like the vault shot, vault shot, and the uh, what's the other one? I did get it. Train reaction. That's it. Vault shot and chain reaction. Yep, version. I got that wrong. Yep. People are like, no, you know, why? Why would you use this? Because it doesn't work here, and it's like, it's like, yeah, no, it doesn't. It's the reason. The, like, I like it because it's a wave frame, and it 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 had a chain reaction, but they really missed out on uh, the assassin perk. What's it called? Not envious assassin. The other one, where uh, when you kill something, you get more ammo in the magazine with that gun, not another gun. You know. I don't know what what is it. Not envious assassin. It's not envious. It's the other one, man. Mm. Uh, no, we, I, we all need therapy for our hoarding problem. It's not just him. I mean, it, it, this is a problem for the whole community. Uh, the thing is, I mean, Datto could come in and he could, you know, rinse my vault. But I, I'm still not going to let him. You wouldn't let him. No, but I, I mean, I would. I'd let him have a look, but I'm not deleting stuff unless he's got a. <laughs> You know, a, a decent reason to, for me to get rid of it, right? And, and um, even if you did, you would just be full again anyway. Like, like the <laughs> yeah, but behind the, it in the postmaster, go look at look at my vault over there. Just don't look at the postmaster data. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I mean the core. I mean the core problem still remains. Like, you want us to complete these events mm-hmm. and get a whole bunch of rolls or something. Yeah. Where where am I going to put them? Yeah, I mean, and and when I cleaned out the vault, I cleaned out like sixty spaces, and I cleaned out every space on every character, even my hunter. Aside from this right now that just filled up these two slots, my hunter only had one weapon in each slot and one armor piece in each slot. Everything else was in the vault, and I still had 60 slots left over, right? So yeah. I cleared out all my characters, you know, opened them up for space and whatnot, and the vault just fills up like that, dude. Even when you get the god roll hullabaloo, for example, and you're like, all right, I have this one. There's no other good roll. I'm deleting the rest, even though they're, they're sending it to you by FedEx in bulk, Costco style, right? Uh, you know, you just delete them, but somehow it just fills up with like other stuff, man. Like world drops and just, just it, come on, man. And I was just like, you know, the the prophecy dungeon weapons, right? Like how the raid you can get the red borders. Why don't we have you know more red border weapons in in the dungeons? You know, let me let me craft those that way. I don't have to keep farming for these shenanigans, man. It's just. I mean, let it just, every weapon should be craftable. Once you get enough red borders, it should be craftable so you can clear out the vault and go back and craft it later. Full stop. You know? Yeah, or it, once you've crafted it, it's then saved at the Enclave so that you can then, if you don't you don't want it at that point in time, you can then yeah. go back and pick it up at the level that it was kind of cra- crafted to. So mm-hmm. if you kind of get it to like level 30, level 70, whatever, it's able to be slotted back into there and kind of not you know, so that you've got another avenue to kind of pick up places, avenue to kind of pick up your weapons, I guess. Could they choose to do none of it? That's the infuriating part. That's why we keep bringing this up, is you have options. Like, if you don't want to utilize, you know, just giving us straight up more vault space, get creative. There's other stuff you can do. You can let us put it in in in, in, a, in a little... Uh, like, like, not a binder, not yeah, a catalog. I mean, I mean, all, like a register, like, like a register. I want to register this weapon. And all come the back things to we've said before. Just that, so you know, many things. You could do this or that or the other, and yeah, it's not going to happen. So, we we play the events, we get things, we keep one weapon, and next year we go. Well, we have this one weapon. Is there yeah. one weapon worth getting instead? 
Don, it's not a it's not a matter that he can't do it, right? We all know he can do it, right? You you're missing the point. It's not that he can, he cannot do it. It's that he, he won't. He has psychological attachments to digitize things in a video game. Okay. Oh, he demon twitting. Okay. Him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, my holding goes back to Destiny 1, Don. At the end of the day, <laughs> I've still got a full vault in Destiny 1, and that's the way it will stay. There's full postmasters. I'm full on every character. I just yeah. can't get around it. It's That's how it is. To be fair, in Destiny 1, you only had like 100, 150 slots anyway. So, I mean, it was full just for existing. I think so. what broke me in the end with Destiny 1 was the fact that you could then go back into the raids and get exotic versions <laughs> of the normal versions <laughs> of the weapons. And I was like, oh, th- this has definitely broken me. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you just, you just got to roll with the punches. And as much crap as I give Night Demon, I understand where it comes from because you never know when it's going to be good. You know? How many times have we had... Something that we're just like, oh, that that's a really crappy perk. And then Bungie's like, oh, we've seen that this perk, you know, nobody uses it. So we're going to change it to do this. And everyone's like, oh, my God, it's amazing. You know, so you never know when that's going to happen. And you have to have it there for the just in case. So that's just how it is, bro. And you don't want to go back and regrind for it like Destiny wants you to do. You hang on to it. Even if you never use it, you know, like, you know raisins or toothbrushes or you know uh ramen tickets little bits of celery you know you you never know when those might be might come important uh no all i'm getting is techie enforcers (laughs) it's techie enforce day well it's also uh you know this week this week in destiny we're we're in the thick of competition uh Mm -hmm. we did have titans versus warlocks warlocks versus hunters hunters versus titans winner take all all being um bragging rights and a golden glowing class item and a repainted statue in the tower. Uh, so th- they gave us all of the hefty twelves in the last couple of weeks, and now we have a very unhefty twelve. This twelve has been starved for attention and love, sort of like maybe the the care and feeding of the Guardian Games. But here we are. Uh, so we bring you this week. We have we have the regular games class leaderboard update. Yeah. The mm-hmm. the regular games updates in the D two com- uh, companion app. Regular games bungee rewards. Regular games cup prizing. A uh, Riven's final wish quest. And the bonus wish, ooh, weekly break dust, uh, out of the airlock emblem now live, and uh, player privacy and safety updates. So yeah, who who is the fairest of them all? Me. It, it is if, you, you're right. If, if you can't play contest against Warlocks versus Titans versus Hunters, is it What's really a fair fight? Yeah, is it really a fair fight? Is the what is there? <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just pretend to put that flag up and, you know, we'll just go uh, with whatever. I mean, did you see the, the title of the, the stream? The Guardian Games has no Guardian Games. Or there is no Guardian Games in the Guardian Games. Yeah. And that, that's how it is, you know? So. Yeah. It's yeah. just games. It's just the regular games. Yeah. Just games just, as usual. Just you games. You have a focus a thing that may or may not be focused. That you, There's packages that you're supposed to open that you never get. You know? <laughs> The, yeah, oh, no, the metals! But, but, oh my good but, lord! But, and, oh my my! Though, 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 certainly this week they're going to explain to us how how the packages work and how the focus activities work, right? I mean, certainly yeah, no. they they will put that in the twab no. to explain to us how this how this activity works. You know, the parts no. that's still currently functioning, no, right? They, I mean, I mean, I mean, no, no. I mean, come on, certainly they must. They, on, they no, must tell us them. that. Well, let's see. They must tell us that the hunters have won have won gold twice, the warlocks have won silver twice, and the titans have won bronze twice. Uh huh. Your day one results were hunt, Hunter, Warlock, and Titan. And the day two results, same thing. Hunter, same Warlock, order. and Titan. Uh-huh. Yep, <laughs> yep. Uh, but, but oh, oh, the Diamond Medallions could be a game changer this year if you can coerce Bungie and Twitch to allow you to uh, to, to link your accounts up. Maybe you can watch two hours of somebody streaming. Mm-hmm. Or or if you can run a full raid in, you know, three hours or less, like, not, like Night Demon did. Night Demon went out for his class with a class of, of Titans yeah. and, and finished a raid eventually. Got his... Got his diamond yeah, yeah, PVE yeah. card. Hopefully the other five people also did. Who knows? I figure if you're doing it for the activity, hopefully you did that. Um, so yeah, that could be a could be a game changer of running full raids with people. No, I don't think that's gonna. I'm not no, sure that's gonna no. turn, turn the tide. <laughs> Especially since all they all the only option you have is a raid or trials. No grandmaster nightfalls. No competitive. No dungeons. No none of like, that. like there's like there's no, no there was no yeah. dun- like like blue and I looked going okay we're gonna go we're gonna go run a couple prophecies. Where's the dungeon card? Right. Where, where, where's uh, I, there's a card for was it high high level seasonal activity? 
Yeah. And I'm going just just tell me it's yeah. the coil. Just just say coil on it. Like I, like I know you're not gonna update the text, but like could you tell me which activity or activities this applies to? Right. If I run a legendary dares, does that work? So, uh, no, yeah. it does not. No. Um, <laughs> but, but don't worry, you you can collect your contender cards in the D2 app. So yeah. you know, just like you can pick up bounty, you can pick those up in the app, and that I do appreciate mm-hmm. because nothing is more mind well, not nothing. Few things are more mind numbing than having to go back to the tower every single time you do a thing to get a new card. Yeah. If you, you, you've given me a place to hold multiple cards in in the little card vault thing, let me go. You know, pick them up from the app and then keep playing things. So that I've really enjoyed. If I'm just you know running strikes or gambit or whatever, I haven't even set foot in the crucible yet. That was my plan for this week is to set foot in the crucible and you know try that out and get the thing done. Which. Um, again, we'll, we'll talk about something later that how are we going to accomplish a task if I can't accomplish the task the way you want me to because you've turned it off. They'll, they'll do something, um, won't they? They'll, they'll yeah, do something they'll, to kind of rectify that. Yeah, they'll they'll probably auto-complete it week three. Like I was talking to Noble about it last night. I'm going, they'll either update the thing. He's like, nah, they'll, they'll just auto-complete it and hand it out to everybody week three. Like, or yeah, they that, just won't do anything with that, it. That sounds we'll right. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but but it's a requirement like for the title and stuff. Like the title, not the weapon, the title, but the actual yeah. like game title. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've said if, what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but don't worry, you, you can go to the real store and, and buy rewards. You get a nice little medal mm-hmm, with the Guardian Games and all the little icons on it. You can get a K6. Uh, if you completed the gold event during Guardian Games by March 26th, you can order your medal between March 5th and April 30th from the Bungie Rewards store. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah, hold on. Wait, no. is, it, is it the same one from last year? The one that looks gold but isn't gold but costs more than gold? I have no idea what the one last year looked like, and I'm not buying the one this year either because it's just not that interesting of a design. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's just Olympic medal, but not Olympic medal. But talking about medals, right? I understand Bungie wants to make money, and you know that's why they have the store, right? But yeah. for one of the requirements to keep the scooter to be 1,200 medals, and listen, when I say I have no life nightfalls this whole week, right? That's all I've done. Nightfall after nightfall after nightfall, just constantly out of one into another, right? Yeah. And I only have 98 medals out of 1,200. I've got 376. I mean, I don't know what you're doing. I I I did with the diamond. But I've only got 98 medals, and I've been bounty after bounty, nightfall after nightfall. I mean, as soon as I complete one, I pick it up again, and I go back in, and I've got 98. This is ridiculous. You know, I think what you're talking about is the dropping quest, and I was I'm, I'm glad you brought it up because I wanted to talk about this this week. Yeah, because a lot of other people have been talking about it. Now, this is the all star like vector quest to get to keep it for kind of for after the Guardian Games. If you don't want to spend twenty five dollars to buy it in a package when you can't buy well, it no, by itself. You, yeah, yeah. If you don't want to buy the like the Galahorn version, um, yeah. yeah, it's you have to kind of complete this drop-in quest and it seems pretty simple and i think me doing that diamond medallion gave me the 376 which was quite cool you know if you do at least another two of those i could do the pve one and then i could probably do um maybe the twitch one if i can kind of get that kind of sorted well, i can tell you a platinum only gives you 15 medals so i mean if the diamond gives you 300 that's a hell of a jump but yeah i mean because the diamond gives you i think it, they said it gives you the diamond it gives you platinum it fills your trophy case basically so it kind of gives you okay. all the kind of things so they are worth doing but as i kind of found it's very hard to find a good team to kind of do a raid very quickly which is the raid one that i kind of did and um, you have to do it from the beginning or can you just jump into the end of a raid and complete it no you have to do each encounter you with your class yeah. yeah okay wait so, with your class like yeah. a full team of hunters yes, yes. Has to be the class. <laughs> yeah, that it did make me fun. laugh when we got to the final. I think we got to one of the rooms and somebody went, "Have you got a warlock?" I was like, really? N- no, of course not. You, you, you know, did you, you know, we read, don't. Did you not read the objective? <laughs> here? But the interesting thing about job. this is that I, I did hear with the earn a top. You, you can either earn twelve hundred medals earn a top 10% score in the Nightfall Challenges or open your focus activity winners package times three. Now, the Hunters got that kind of down once they figure out how to go and open those packages respawn. Yeah, and right. The, the medallions <laughs> might take, you know, a good couple of weeks if you're kind of just doing the odd diamond one here and there. But the earn a top 10% score in the Nightfall Challenges is the one that I want to kind of talk about because it's very hard 
to get the top 10% of the score at this end of the week for two mm-hmm. reasons, basically. One, they keep changing the nightfall from what yep. I've heard that it was yep. inverted spire at one point. It's yep. yeah, the, it was. the Novota at another point, which is the one I did. And yep. then somebody else did the Glassway. Yep. I, I think it went Glassway, then it went inverted spire, inverted spire, and then Novota. Uh, and I'm like, Novota I haven't seen. I've done the other two. Yeah, I think Novota must have been the Thursday one. And now it's gone back to Glassway. So there's those three. There's a different amount of enemies in each one, which doesn't help. So you get a yeah. different amount of like champions that you can finish because let's face it, you've got to kind of do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like there's no way you're going to get the, be able to get the same score range in different nightfalls with different conditions. Yeah, and then, that, and then saying like, like, why do we know why they're changing them? Is it daily? Is well, it they, random? They, like, they did. I'm sure they did this last year and the year before. It was you go in and you practice, and then they unlocked it at the weekend, and you went then had to go and play at the weekend yeah. to get your high score. And then last year they just unlocked it as normal, so that you could go in and get your high score. But also the second problem is, if you play at the beginning of the week, you could play on day one and mm-hmm. get a top ten percent score mm-hmm. with yeah. only like a hundred thousand. At the yep. end of that week, you're needing to look at maybe 400,000 plus to get mm-hmm. in the top yeah. 10%. Because right. the, the week has then kind of gone on. The nightfalls have obviously changed as well. So it's like, it's gating it for no reason on all these different things. It's like, it is such a pain because you well, don't know. Make it competitive, but at some point in time, you literally cannot raise the bar anymore. You can't. Once right. the top and, and, ten have set the bar as high as it can go, you can't you can't beat it no matter what you do. Yeah, you well, know? and 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 like you don't even know what the bar is. Like, the, yeah. like nothing is telling you where you need to be for the top. You know, if I go in and I say, "Oh, I need six hundred thousand points for a top 10 I'm not even going to try. Or yeah. or hey, if, or hey, you know, the top ten is in this range. I mean, like it would make more sense to say like set a range. Hey, you know, for this nightfall. Here is what we've what we Bungie have determined. You know, you know the the tiers are here. Get a tier one score, you know, which would be in you know their top ten or whatever. But yeah, I mean, doing I mean that was my first thought. Is doing it at the end of any week is going to be more difficult, no matter what the other conditions are. Yeah, like you know, get in get in Tuesday right at reset and go get a decent run. You're probably in the top ten. Be done with it, and then you're out. Yeah. Trying to do it by the weekend, it's like playing trials on the weekend. Everyone's there, and they're going to stomp you. Yeah, it's, and it's then the and then you. like. And I don't even know how to get the score any higher than what you can get because when I was running it, we were killing every single ad. We were killing every single um, what champion, you call it? champion, champion, and yellow we bar. Doing we were doing the whole whole thing. I think I think the fastest run was like sub six minutes yeah. or something like are, that. Are you speed emoting? Like are you emoting speed before is, you kill a yellow bar? Yes, yeah, speed no? is not the thing. You yeah. you absolutely don't want to go fast. You want to go as slow as possible. You want to well, emote. And then finish every yellow bar. You want to kill everything. You want to kill everything. Why, why are y'all saying emoting? Stop. stop. Okay. Why are you saying emoting? Uh, you, you do, didn't, you've do, done do you remember last years. year? He's done no, it I didn't say last year or the year before. Okay, so there's medals There's medals in the Nightfalls. You know, you're getting medals for doing things. The Rampages okay. and things. There's a medal for emoting and then finishing. I think it's like two or three different medals you'll get. Insult oh, to injury. Oh, that's why they were doing that. Yes. Yes. The, yes. So... That's why people are getting things. It's because because if you're going fast, you're absolutely robbing yourself from points. Yes. If you're uh, if you're blazing through it, you're robbing yourself from points. If you're not emoting and then finishing every single yellow bar in champion, you're robbing yourself of points. That if you're so trying dumb. to split kills and not like like uh, I think I mean a number of people have done videos. Esoteric did one basically saying bring Trinity Ghoul in because the number of uh, like multi kills and, and rampages and stuff you get is ridiculous. Yeah, and have one person do it. So like he, you know, as a tank ran it solo, uh, Blue and I, when it was inverted spire, other than the run with the tank that was up, because I mean, if the tank's there, you're blessed by the tank gods, and you have to use the tank in that strike. <laughs> but after that, we, you know, we basically, I was support for Blue. Blue was killing everything with a Trinity Ghoul, and I was basically around to finish and and provide support. We ran it as two warlocks because it was like because also if you stand in a well of radiance, every kill you get in the well counts as a super kill. And you get the medals and the points for it. Crazy. That yeah, is so, so crazy. I mean, you got to get that into here with it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is really one of those. If you want to have any, any chance at a high score, like you really have to put all this together. Like it isn't just blazed through. It isn't just completed. It's completed in this very particular way. 
but the, the problem it's is that they they ha- they kind of haven't changed things up from year to year. So it's not no. like you can get more medals from doing other things. It's right. you have to do the, the the you know the the emote, and you have to make sure the emote kind of sticks as well. You say I have to do it for a couple of seconds in front of a yep. champion yeah. or a yellow you, bar you, 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 before yeah, it kind of. You have to work. wait until the text shows up. Yeah, like yeah. like if the text doesn't show up on whatever the emote is, it sort of doesn't register the emote, and this doesn't count and give you the points. Yeah. And doesn't give you the medal. Yeah, I mean, it's, it really is. You have to like min max your way through running it in this super specific way. So if you're running it as a team that's not doing that, you don't have you don't have a chance. So I mean, at least the private option is there. Like Blue and I ran it privately a couple times, so we could just be the two of us with the plan we wanted to run. Because otherwise, if you're just running with blueberries, you've got no prayer. Oh no! Unless you happen to luck into someone again doing all the things they need to do to get it done. So That's meanwhile, what I, respawns well, I, out here hampering people's runs, trying to get it done quickly. He <laughs> is the blueberry. I, I really was, dude. I really was. <laughs> Which and is like, not your fault, because again, there's no way to know. There's nothing to tell you this. Yeah, there's zero Once in again, game to explain. Nothing to help people, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, it, it's literally. I mean, you know, I, I went looking and saying, okay, I'm sure someone's done a video, and sure enough, I think I mean Esoteric has won. You know, again, plenty of other people have done videos. Like Esoteric did one when it was Inverted Spire, really breaking down. Here's like the seven things you need to do. And he's like, he's like, I landed on Trinity Ghoul and a warlock because you can stand in the well, get the super kills in the well with the Trinity Ghoul. So you're getting these like, you know, rampage medals in addition to the super kills, in addition to finishing, in addition to emoting and all this other stuff. And, and you know, you, you know, he's esoteric. So, of course, he's getting 400,000 points. But just, you know, putting that all together, you're really racking those points. But yeah, and just taking your time, like as long as you're you're done within the 20 minutes. You can take your sweet time, kill everything there, you know, oh, so let, yeah. let every, let the boss spawn its multiple range, you know, multiple versions of ads. You know, if you're, if you're killing the boss after one version of ads, you're robbing yourself of points. It yeah. really is like leisurely walk your, you know, t- take your Sunday drive through the, through the nightfall and go, we'll get there eventually. Like as long as we're within 20, 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, it, time. and it's not even a high nightfall, is it, as well? It's, it's uh, mm-hmm. 1765, I believe. Oh so, yeah, yeah, it's, oh, yeah. Super it's, it's easy to do. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. You're immortal. Like you can walk your way through it, and nothing is gonna nothing is gonna hassle you at all. Yep. Y- your biggest threats are falling in holes. Yes. I mean, those are big threats, though. <laughs> yeah. No. Exactly. <laughs> those are significant <laughs> threats, dude. That's mm-hmm. not. Let's not downplay that. All right. Not Which that I've you, um, done that why, or anything. Why you need your skimmer? Right. <laughs> uh, and speaking of the skimmer, right? Get the the quest they gave you to get that is ridiculous, but. Going back to that, you know, if you wanted people to buy the skimmer, that's fine. But allow them to do it so that they can just buy the skimmer. I'm really not liking this whole bungee, everything's part of a package nowadays, like like plan that they've got going on. That is that is that is dumb. You know, let us pick what we want because you know, we're not gonna use it. And I'm all like, you know what? Fine, you want me to buy it and it's not gonna happen. It just gives me another excuse to stick with my dragon sparrow. I'm completely okay with that. You know, I wanted to get it via the quest, but that's seeming more and more impossible nowadays. And even you and I, Demon, well you're you you have got three hundred after a week almost, right? I mean, it no, doesn't I, I haven't I haven't done the Guardian games until yesterday. I've been doing Cali, I'd been doing Cali, and then I didn't Guardian game stream yesterday where I did literally two things. Really? I played Supremacy and I did the diamond thing and that was uh, it. Okay. So I don't know I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm gonna be honest with you. Well we I, have told I don't you know why I've only got ninety eight. And I we, want to apologize to people we just because told you all the things. But yeah, but 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 like to be fair, none of this is your fault for not knowing. Like this isn't us going respawn. How could you not know this? Because no. again, un- unless you remember from last year or looked up a video, there is zero in this game to tell you, yeah, what score you need to get to. How you get to score. I mean, I mean, I think Bungie did like tweet out this week again, but you have to be following Bungie social media. Like, hey, you know, make sure you're you know emoting and adding insult to injury before you finish your champions or some things like that. Yeah. So it's like like the, they're at least at least putting it out somewhere. But again, if you're not tuned into this, there's no way to find it. There's no way to know this information. You know, and I blame Jeb for this, Jez. Right. Jez, the after Jez, watching yeah. the video with him and his <laughs> wife. Now I can't unsee the fact that Bungie oh, just doesn't help you at all. Oh, you know? oh, oh, yeah, no, I mean, that was like, uh, yeah, I, I watched that same video, you know, and it's just, it's, it's, I, I'm surprised he's still married with it being like, yeah, I'm going to sit you down in front of this and just not tell you anything. <laughs> but yeah, but no, I mean, that is the, that is the destiny experience. 
Nothing is around to explain anything to you. Like you really have to have a, a background in gaming, a background in destiny, a PhD in what these icons mean. Like the number of times, you know, she ran, ran in the direction the thing told her to run, but was like, no, no, it's more of a vaguely go in this way. Not, not go to this thing. You know, kind of, kind of go over, you know, go North. Try to walk What's through a wall there? kind of thing. No, yeah. Somewhere North. Like, yeah, just like, like I, I really fell for her. And again, anyone tried to pick this game up going, what do you, what am I trying to do here? What, yeah. what does the symbol mean? We could use words, Bungie. You know, words could explain things, but no, no, we're just going to. Yeah, and, and the Guardian game symbol. The What's the wreath mean? What's the little, what looks like a torch next to the wreath? Are mm -hmm. they are, are they one and the same symbol? Are they two different symbols meaning two different things? Why do I have an icon over my left shoulder? Why does somebody else have it over their right? Why do some people have both? What's going on? You know? Why doesn't Eva, Eva explain to me the new parts of the game? When, when I talked yeah. to her the first time, why isn't there a cutscene or an explanation? And no, I don't mean like an entire wall of text because that's <laughs> the other thing, you know, like again, going back to the jazz video for half a second, just the walls of text, the game throws at you. And it's like, I, I don't need to read all this. Give me two sentences that it help me understand what I'm meant to be doing. Or a video, just a, a quick, simple video to go. This is how you play the guardian games. Right. Or, oh, here's one for you, Bungie. As we're coming up to solstice, how do you play the solstice and what do you need to do in solstice? Because you change every year. So mm -hmm. we kind of, I mean, I do I must apologize because normally I go through and I look at what Bungie did the previous year and we cover it on the podcast. And I forgot to do that last week because we had the guest. And right. so I, I want to apologize for people yeah. that I didn't kind of cover it because then I would have warned Respawn that you need to do your finishes and yeah. your emotes and things. But yeah, normally we kind of cover it and just... Yeah, you've got Solstice well, coming so up, I blame Bungie. you then, right? I can blame you. <laughs> huh? Do what? So I can blame you for not letting me for not helping me, man. Yes, you can blame me. I, I, I I've let you down. <laughs> because yeah, when I saw the Guardian Games up, I was like, oh yeah, you've got to do the emotes and you've got to. It kind of came back to me, but it might not come back to everybody else. And for new players coming into the game, they don't know about it. And if you're not following any kind of social media like Noble then you're going to kind of be stuck if you don't remember these things or you don't know about these things. So it, it's, yeah, it's, it's one of those things I think they kind of need to do in the game that, you know, when you visit the tower, you visit the vendor, there is a button that you can push that says, explain this event to me in a video, a simple like two minute video of what I kind of basically need to do. Then if I need to kind of go and get help, I need to go and follow Datto. Or I need to kind of find out what Fallout's doing to kind of maximize these things. Then partner, you know, partner with the creator, partner with the creator, and put their video in the game. Just and not say, my creator. And, Just not and me. Say, I have no and, idea. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and, and say, hey, you know, again, explain it to that person. Make sure they understand it, and say, and here's Datto to explain to you how this works. Hey, you know, here's Fallout to explain to you how this works. Here's Ebontis to walk, to hold your hand, and walk you through how this is going to work. You know, I mean, I mean, there there was a level of of you know sort of partnership so to speak with the community of, Hey, go watch a streamer for two hours as part of this event, which, you know, a number of people have been saying, you know, saying, Hey, you know, this is a really bad time. The D2 directory, no one's watching the game because it's where we are in the season with the delays. It was a really nice boon to, to a lot of them to get people, you know, you know, to say to push people to go watch people, you know, go watch some creators, go, go to the D2 directory and find someone if you don't normally watch. So, I mean, that was a nice, you know, a nice sort of boon to the community of people who's, you know, for, whatever your opinions are on streamers, this is their livelihood and yeah. trying to cover a game that is, you know, not really in a good spot watching wise right now. Well, you, you know, say it, that, but it, it I, was a nice I would reach out and hand out. Well, right. Yeah. I, I think mean, a lot of people were kind of putting on a destiny kind of stream on in the background and playing destiny. So they're not actually kind of paying any attention to it, but they've got it on so that they can get their diamond thing done. But the numbers yeah. are there. Yeah. No, it doesn't yeah. matter if you're watching as long as hey, you're, you're getting the numbers, they're getting the watches. Yeah. It's a win-win for everyone. Apart yeah, from respawn, because he can't get it to work. No, I mean I let's. Can't. I mean let's be honest. Oh, I mean yeah. a lot of times I'll have streams on, and, and I'm there. I, I'm clicking the little hey, you know, collect your collect your streamer points periodically. I'm yeah. basically just, I, you know, I'm treating your stream as a podcast because for the most part, I don't need to watch you play, especially if it's PVE content. I'm like yeah. yeah, you're doing a hard thing. Like I just want to listen to your to your banter and you know have you on in the background. Is you know I I, I put the radio on in the background and I'm working or doing <laughs> something else. That's what this is. But you know, you're making a little bit of money from from me being a viewer, and I'm enjoying your content. 
Hey, is there a video out there that says I can complete a dungeon or I can complete a raid before uh, Rick Cactus can finish his intro? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. what we've kind of surmised from this is that the drop-in quest is going to be around until the end of the event so if you haven't managed to kind of do your, your millions of diamonds to kind of get your 1200 medals or you haven't done your top 10 percent in your nightfalls or you haven't collected your three packages because you're not a hunter then yep. wait until the tuesday reset because you have a higher chance at kind of jumping into those nightfalls now that you know that what you kind of need to do Grab a team, try the fire team finder because I do believe that I've seen a lot of people on fire team finder going right. We need to get a team. We're doing emotes. We're doing this. So you could try it that way and do that on the reset day. So as long as you kind of get it done on the Tuesday, Wednesday kind of of the week, you have a better chance of getting that sparrow to kind of auto complete before the end of it. So try that next week, and if you don't do it next week, you still got another week to kind of do it. And in the meantime. Build up your, your diamonds, see if you can do those those diamond kind of medals by watching um, Two Titans and a Hunter on stream, possibly. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I have that quest done, and I have absolutely no idea how I got it done. I, I, I can't even, the drop-in quest to get my exotic sparrow. Wow. Or, or exotic skimmer. It's done, and I have absolutely not been no-lifing this game. I, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, I've done a hand a handful of nightfalls. I mean, maybe that's less, how you did it. You got the ten percent le- accidentally. Less, less than ten, probably ten or twelve nightfalls, and I mean, two or three prophecy runs. But like, I've not been, I've not been on this game that much this week. Like, yeah, and I, and I wish I could tell you how, but again, the quest is gone. I completed it. I don't know how I completed it, but yeah, here we are. I mean, maybe. I mean, I know I picked up at least one of the. I think you know bronze packages from the the focus faction thing but i i would love to tell you hey here's how i did it because 1200 medallion score i I don't know how i got there (laughs) other than just you know making sure i you know if i was going if i was going to uh you know going to an activity i would absolutely pick up that activities thing and the nightfalls i was trying to double dip into going like doing the the nightfall one and i think there's a the, the the lower level one and just having medals on me and just every time going to the app, pick up a new metal, going back into the nightfall and just rinse and repeat. Yeah. So I'd love to give you more advice on that, but um, yeah, you're useless. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely <laughs> useless. The game's like, sure. here you go. You got a thing. How? We don't know. And I can't even go look. I was no. looking, I was looking for the, for the quest and going, no, it's just gone. It's gone. If, if you don't you get it now, your, your it'll be the one in the store. Remember? Sorry. Not, and, and now because you've completed it, you now own your skimmer parody. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's exotic. Okay. It's, there you go. It's, there you it's go. an exotic one now. And uh, I, I also, you also earlier in the week, you could, oh yeah, that was the other thing. You could pick up so many skimmers. So if mm-hmm. you had picked up six or seven skimmers, not realizing that it was a bug and not, you weren't meant to have all those skimmers. When you get <laughs> the exotic one, it gives you the exotic one and takes your other skimmers away. So if you're trying to Aww. hold on to those, at least on the Titan, I don't know if the Warlock still has his, but at least on the Titan, it took my extra skimmers away. Cause I, cause I kept a few just going. <laughs> Can I keep these two? Will the alternate exotic? No, it just seems to turn the one exotic. Oh, and respawn. Try right. try the luminous void shader on your sparrow because it has a pink and kind of gold color on it with a bit of blue. It looks Ooh. a bit like the um, Back to the Future oh. hoverboard. Oh, okay. Maybe with the pink on there. Respawn. Just like this year, the Guardian Games Cup hovers to new heights. Earlier this week, they kicked off a brand new team-based competition um, for two different categories. The technical category, where you officially registered your team's total number of medallions dunked, and the charitable one, which uh, you know tracks the amount of money you raised for the Bungie Foundation sign-up page throughout the same period. Um, and this is where the top four teams will get their real-life skimmer, which won't be us, because I, I looked at it and honestly was like, this, is, this feels confusing and I'm not entirely sure what they want from me. So uh, we're not competing, but other people certainly are. And... Uh, they just remind us that that's a thing. They don't have an update. They don't tell us who's winning. They're just like, hey, this is a thing you could go to. And if you haven't done Riven's final final quest yet, you should, because this mar- this week Mara offers her final quest for Riven's wishes. And it's one you won't want to miss because it awards two wish tokens upon completion. Oh. So that's two red border last, w- last wish weapons or two exotic pieces of armor. Well, you get the picture. Yeah, so so you get you get bonus for this week. So you get seven tokens instead of six. You do, Ooh. and and the token and your final token. I'm pretty sure is to go run the dungeon, go run. So go run prophecy. There's never been a better time. 
knock it out in an easy hour, get your token, and then you can go uh, finish off some red borders or get your exotic you've been trying to get or, you know, whatever it is. And there's loads of people doing prophecy this week. There's lots of, I went and looked the other day when Blue and I were on just seeing if there was, you know, people running prophecy and it was nothing but, hey, prophecy, 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 because it was up that week. So, yeah, you know, go, go not to say you can't out. do it any other week, but if it's right. a farming week where you can just kind of do one encounter over and over and over again, or just complete it over and over again to keep getting the weapons, then you might as well try. Yeah. And we're strong. And I mean, as long as you can tell your light from your dark, you're good. I mean, <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't say anything about color. I just said light and dark. Now, will the game always register if you're light and dark? Well, that's another, that's another question entirely. But yeah, but no, I was, I was sitting here again, looking at this going, Okay, so so I've I've killed I've killed the nice uh, the nice man in the dreaming city, and and I did the you know the final wish, and I was like I have an extra extra token. Blue was like no no you should have six. I'm like no I I have seven total. I'm like no I got I'm like I got the apex predator with these, and mm-hmm. I have an extra one. Yeah. So it was a nice surprise to go no no you get a bonus token. Congratulations to so, go do things. How do you turn them in? Does that you, have a few? You go back to Mara, and she yeah, has Mara a whole and she has a whole menu of options. And you say, oh, "Ma'am, I w- okay. you say I would like combo platter number two, please." And she says, "Here <laughs> you go, sir." And is it only those weapons? Because I've gotten everything except I think the techie and board. No, no, I need the auto rifle. Can I get the auto rifle? Yes. Really? Yes. Nice. Yeah, go, go, go to Mara. She has she has a whole menu of red border last wish weapons. And you can you can collect them and bring them home and put them in front of the puppies and go look puppies these are delicious mm, weaponry mm, sexy lady give me sexy loot let's get it exactly yeah can we get other loot though parody you can you 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 could get any number of mementos you could get uh, some exotics that that you didn't own before mm-hmm. um, you could get other things that I don't remember but there's yeah I mean she has three different menus you, you can go peruse all of those lovely menus and see see what she's got for you. What happens if I throw respawn out of the airlock, though? Then I die. Um, a very then, gruesome death. Then I think he's going to have to join the part of the N7 Special Forces. Because I don't think this emblem is going to save him, but there's a chance. <laughs> so, so it, 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 you know, this is that emblem from that game that, you know, they, they did the crossover with that everyone's very excited about. That we forgot and about. Now, you mean yeah, Matt? Exactly. Like- we, we didn't. We, we didn't forget. You know, I but, did. but they, they have all the you know red, red and black uh, emblems. Got a star on it and N7, which means something to someone. Um, now, now you can go to bungie.net slash redeem and you can get a lovely code, and it's it's lemur three parody X-ray X-ray Riven Gall Jack of Spades four. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Jack of Spades. mm Hmm. I was going to use Jack Lee, but nobody knows Jack Lee outside of Frozen, so that would make less sense. I don't know who that is, but then you said outside of Frozen, I'm like oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or or I mean, it came in an email this week. The the Guardian basically when you said from the Guardian Games, Bungie was like, "Here's an email. Go play Guardian Games. Also, here's an emblem. And please, please order the final shape. Please, could, could you order the final shape? So yeah, oh, that, that yeah. emblem's been floating around yeah. everywhere. Bungie, listen, we're we're, we're not going to talk about you know the the discourse of the final shape pre-sales because honestly I'm not working for you and I don't care how much money you're making that's your problem. Right. But if you don't give me a good weapon like say the Quicksilver Storm, I'm not really going to pre-order. I, I'm going to buy it 100. Like like there's no chance I don't buy this. But I don't need to buy it earlier because everyone told me the tessellation wasn't worth getting early. So mm-hmm. that's why no one's pre-ordering. There, I've solved it for you. I fixed the problem. Yeah, but they don't care. <laughs> yeah, no, they're like, but but if if you could, that'd be lovely. But you know what they will do? They're throwing free bright dust at us again. So so you know mm-hmm. while we had our our one time bright dust drop for uh for for the year of the dragon, well now we're going to get a number of weeks of bright dust drops. So if you haven't logged in this week, um, Dude. you may you may still have a chance. Maybe we should put this at the top of the show. Uh, hey, log in because there's seven hundred there's seven hundred free bright dust to go collect. Again, yep. go to Eververse. I think it's in the lower left-hand corner of that main page. Uh, 700 free Bright Dust every week leading Isn't up to the like launch of the weekly, final shape. Weekly Bright Dust about? Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, what yes. I mean is like when you complete a weekly bounty, isn't that the same Bright Dust they give you? No. So that, that's a weekly bounty for free or something? No, because it's... I can't remember if it's 1,000 Bright... I can't remember what the Bright Dust is. 700 Bright Dust every week. So if you collect it every week up until the final shape, you get 9,100. Wow. 
Well, there wow. you go. So there's 9,100 free bright dust. So if nothing else, log in every week after reset, pick up your bright dust and uh, use it to buy good things. Because there's, there's good things. There is. You can sit around with your friends grilling marshmallows. I you like could, marshmallows. You can tell them all the hot gossip. I like gossip. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's all sorts of funny notes. There's fun, fun juggling emotes this week. You could stand and say none shall pass. Um, you could try to pump people up. You know, there's, there's all sorts of stuff for Bright Dust. So, you know, no, check out the Bright Dust every week. Yeah. Hold on, wait. None shall, you can't do none shall pass for Bright Dust. Oh, that one. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I see. It says represent. It, it's, not, it's not the Monty Python one, but, you know, we're, we're getting there. Yeah. Apparently, oh. apparently the, the gritty has been added to the game if you're a person who understands those words. <laughs> I want the holy hand grenade. Just give me the holy hand grenade as as like a uh let us let us change the way our grenades look like we change our armor. What's that called? When you change transmog. how something looks? Transmog. Let me transmog the holy hand grenade on my grenades. That'd be amazing. Does it have to be the holy hand grenade of Antioch or do I get my choice? I mean, is there any other grenade? I mean plenty of other grenades, but how many of them are holy is the question. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah uh, one um, two four three sir three ah! sorry i'm dumb continue respawn do you ride to live and live to ride no does he live to die mm-hmm, mm-hmm, do, mm-hmm. does he live die repeat maybe uh, do you do you die another day <laughs> there, there's a lot of movie references happening and you're confusing me Mission accomplished. But you could well, live free or die hard. Oh, absolutely. God, Take that motorcycle, drive it into the helicopter. It'll all be fine. Yeah. Everything's good after that. Which is one of the things you could do with a skimmer. Just take your skimmer, fly it into a helicopter, and uh, bring it crash into the ground. You probably can do that with the skimmer nowadays. The skimmer is super broken. And you can jump into a Die Hard movie. Yeah. But anyway, what's this leading up to? I'm assuming it's something in the Twibby Twabby, Wibby Wobby, Flibby Flobby. So it's leading up to a, a player privacy and safety update. So oh, wow. they have ongoing efforts to promote both of those things. And uh, Destiny 2 is going to start requiring your date of birth from players starting March 12th. So when you log in, if you haven't updated your birth date on Bungie.net, um, they're going to say, hey, put your birth date in before you can access Destiny 2. It's a one-time thing, and they're going to uh, make it mandatory for everybody. Probably because reasons and localities and keeping children from playing games they shouldn't be playing. Who knows? Or maybe they just want to send us birthday gifts. Ooh, so you know, birthday they, gift. they have a whole date of birth requirement article uh, for more information regarding parent parental controls, common questions, and more. So yeah, it's um, okay. I was like, or I clicked the link and it says this page can't be found. Nope, it's there. We're good now. Okay. So yeah, th- there's a whole page if you need to know this or care about this. Um, yeah, that'll be a thing. But the game will say, hey, how old are you? And you'll say, very old game. Let's, let's not talk about it. And they'll go, okay, that sounds good. We'll put you, we'll, we'll put you over here in the corner. Um, Destiny 2 Ritual Reset. Daylight savings time. It's everyone's favorite time of year. That's so tomorrow, be, right? Or tonight? We'll be get, beginning on March 12th, 2024 in the United States. 12th? Oh, yeah. No, that's, that's, that's not this weekend. Let's try well, this again. Beginning March 10th, 2024. There you go. Because I'm trying to read ahead because I saw the two and got confused because, again, I'm thinking of May 12th back to Mother's Day. Dates are hard. Time zone math is even harder. It is. So beginning on March 10th, 2024, in the United States, Destiny 2's daily and weekly reset time will update to 10 a.m. Pacific time instead of 9 a.m. So it's going to be an hour off. It's 1700 UTC or UTC negative 7. And if none of that means anything to you... um. There's two reset times a year. It's going to be the other one. Whatever it is now, it's going to be the other one for you where you are. Okay. So for me in the UK, that means that our reset is now going to be at 6 p.m. every day. So there you go. There you go. Until your times change in like two weeks or something, because we can't coordinate these things in crown no, no, the world, because why would I, we? Actually, yeah, no. What, what will it be? Yeah. Oh, my word. Cause, oh, cause no. We're, 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 in, we're, in that, we're in that period of time where we, we change our time tomorrow as we record this, and uh, yesterday as you hear this, and then uh, your country will be different, depending where your country happens oh, to be. Oh, no. So be, be prepared know. to be very confused so about how time forward, works. Aren't you? Yes. We, Spring we, forward, yes. fall back. Yep, springing forward. So, so we're going to be forward an hour, living in the future, just like a little tiny taste of Australia. 
So yeah, that that happened. So prepare to be very confused for the next couple of weeks as oh. we all change our times and just generally make everybody really cranky about it because because no nobody likes this. this yeah, is the UK shouldn't do it. Change at the end of March, I believe. Like, oh, but if you're going forward, that does mean still six o'clock. I think uh, yeah. for now. For now. And now we've come to the whoops all issues version maybe, of the twelve. Maybe it's fine. So um, I don't know now. Yeah, ignore see, me. There, ignore me then. There, it's seventeen hundred UTC, whatever that works out to for you. I believe in you. We'll figure it out. Have so you, there, there, there's some known issues, some of which we've already tackled, but some of which maybe we haven't. So um, previewing the event card can cut the guardian or ghost off screen. So don't that, do that, that's man. a thing. So don't, don't preview do your event card. Uh, your PlayStation players still can't use text or voice chat. I mean, maybe you guys can because the Xbox has been on and off all week. So, I mean, take a chance. Maybe it'll work. Uh, the Supremacy Guardian Games playlist, uh, not using the Crucible Sandbox updates. The skimmer grinding only works with the toggle crouch setting, but doesn't respond to the hold to crouch setting. So, basically, if you have hold crouch on, change it to toggle crouch, and then you can uh, grind till your heart's content. Uh, mapping a vehicle control to the same button as the toggle crouch will prevent players from being able to grind on the skimmer at all, so also don't do that. Uh, they're investigating reports of players dying in the Lightfall mission Downfall when they reach three stacks of pervading darkness, which you should not be dying in. You should have more, many more stacks to reach. What is uh, that investigating another issue where players who open the detail screen under Eva's Guardian Games event information redirects the player to the Destiny 2 Witch Queen DLC. Yay. The DLC is, however, not required to participate in the Guardian games. Yay! <laughs> so it's taking some people there to that screen saying, hey, you should buy a thing, and then they're going, no, I don't want to, and, and you shouldn't. So that, that's an issue they're looking into. Uh, glaives. They're only getting one ammo with the new metering system instead of four ammo. <laughs> so, yeah, starving the glaives of ammo. Um, thumb. Thumb Guardian game class items aren't available for armor synthesis. Now, Bungie, there's three. There's three class items. No, but the old ones, maybe. Oh, maybe the old ones. I was going to say, guys, there, there's three of them. You, could, could you tell us which which of the three, maybe? You're, and that, you're that's interesting no? that you brought that up, because I, I wanted to quickly chat about that, because I didn't realize until I was kind of looking through it. Now, this year's class items called the All-Star Mark, but last year's one was called... Let me the Mark of the All-Star? <laughs> No, no for, my Titan different. one was called the Lion's Pride. Now that uh-huh. one gave, it said it was had an armor perk called Friendly Competition. Defeating uh-huh. an enemy with your ability generates a laurel. Picking up laurels of your class has a chance to grant additional laurels. And then completing strikes, crucible or gambit matches award a bonus medal. Completing nightfalls, survival or trials matches award silver medals. And I want to know why we kind of lost that. Why have we um, lost that? Uh, because because they gave us the focusing thing that nobody understands and they didn't explain instead. Yeah, because this yeah this this season there is there's nothing on the all star mark. It's just a mark with mm-hmm. that you have to remember to put on every time you change oh, your loadout. Yeah. and then yep. you change your loadout and you're running around going, why am I not earning? Oh right, because I have I have the one true butt cape on and I need to put the the new one on. So yeah, this is also your reminder. When you change your loadouts, um, put the mark back on if you're trying to do uh, Guardian Games things. Otherwise, yep. you are nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. And if you need that uh, that uh, class item to get triple 100 stats and you have to put on the mark, they uh, they, they don't let you get that triple 100 stats. If you have then, the... Um, then you're sad. Yeah. If you have a... Uh, what's it called, man? Come on. Artifice Armor. That one. Yep. Also, uh, the Stronghold Exotic isn't granting Restoration Times 2 anymore. So if you thought, hey, why am I not getting my Restoration? Uh, you're right, because it, it, it's not. It doesn't want to. But don't worry, Respawn. The Hollow Blue Grenade Launcher can oh, roll God. with Masterworks that aren't intended. Uh, oh, I got uh, a lot of those. Uh, yep. Uh, so so, so what, sort of, what sort of Masterworks are you getting that aren't intended? Uh, I don't know, but it's giving me uh, double the perks, which is fun. You know, I've got a bunch of them that give me twice the perks instead of just like the one perk in each column. Uh, all of my masterworks have two perks in each column. So I'm not mad at that. I'm, I'm not mad at that at all. We'll take it. We'll, we'll take above the, the works and response favor. Um, the heir apparent catalyst quest can be acquired on accounts that have already obtained the catalyst. Love it. So if you if you saw the quest coming up and going, hey, earn your catalyst, and you're going, I, I did that, and I put that weapon in the vault, and it's been collecting dust since last year, 
you aren't crazy. It, it's still there. Yeah, uh, no, the, I definitely have not done that. So. The legacy button on the character selection screen is unable to be clicked. So you cannot view your legacy. For some I know. People, I've noticed. For yeah. me, so, no, it uh, doesn't work for me. Okay, so yeah, no, no legacy for you. Nope. And finally, uh, some players are unable to progress through the Season of the Witch content due to the portal in the helm not opening. So more portal problems. So, But some players. Some players can, some players can't. And uh, that that's all the issues they're going to tell us about this week. Because it's Oops All Issues Week here at Bungie Land. And uh, yeah, then we've got some movies of the week and some art of the week. Um, the movie of the week is Tony Hawk Moon's Pro Skimmer, ah. which is worth your watch. It's ah. lovely. Highly recommended. And uh, we, we've got some strange hit, strand hitchhiking. Um, we have a very, very colorful warlock punching us in the face in art. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's our trollop for this week. Hopefully you're enjoying the, the games. Hopefully you've gotten a skimmer. Um, if they don't see a huge influx of uh, skimmer trick montages, they'll be disappointed. Mm-hmm. Well, we're all going to be disappointed, Bungie, for different ways. We're all yeah. disappointed. And uh Beyond that, you know, the big update brought a bunch of new weapons and PvP changes. Uh, let them know how you're finding those. And uh, they're going to keep telling us what's fixed, what's broken, and what's changing in the game. So, yeah. Good times, good times. And that's our 12 for the week from the Destiny 2 community team. Cool. So I know you've got some updates, but I just wanted to kind of quickly chat about something that's kind of been found by accident. I don't know if you guys have seen this is that the Eververse store has been updated because we're now kind of got another couple of months of worth of Eververse stuff. And it looks like we possibly might be getting some Black Armory stuff coming to Destiny 2 with the kind of, I can't remember what it's called, the new Into the Light, isn't it called? I believe. Where we yeah, kind the, of... Yeah, yeah, what they're giving us to, to tide us over before Final Shape. Yes. So that's what we're kind of getting. The into the light and bringing new guardians in apparently, sure. and from this, we, if you have a look at the Eververse store, if you go to Today in Destiny, I'll link it in the show notes. Basically, it's got a lot of kind of old stuff, but we're coming back. Well, it's got skins for old stuff. So you've got things like the Last Man Standing shotgun that has a skin in there, the Itsy Bitsy Spider, which is the recluse. The recluse. There we go. Necrosis, which is also for the recluse, but they have Wait, the... the recluse. Yes, are they unnerfing it? Don't know, don't know what these are just the skins for these weapons. But the wow. one that's kind of pricked everybody's attention is the great white, which is the weapon ornament for the hammerhead, which is a machine gun that was available for the black armory. Hmm, mm. indeed. That... That many of us have deleted all of because uh, there's no room for them. Because reasons, yeah. Possibly. Yes. So there, there said, are some other things. Sorry. I said many. I didn't say all. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's so interesting. I, mean, I, knew, I knew at least like the recluse and stuff, you, could, and, you, know, you can run in PvP and stuff with the, with the light changes. But it's interesting. They're, you know, like that I could understand. Like if they brought a not forgotten ornament or something like uh i would never want to see that gun again but i could at least understand it the hammerhead one seems weird like yeah it just seems like a weird choice unless they're going to bring those weapons back i know there's been talk of bringing that stuff back probably because of this the black armory stuff again yeah that was oh from black armory yeah 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people there's been some spoilers online that basically say the black armories are going to get the Black Armory weapons are going to get refreshed. I hope so. Those well, I think that would be a good thing to get people in. Also, you've got, apparently, possible, spoilers, Garden of Salvation craftable weapons, the cool. Whisper of the Worm miss- mission returning, yeah. Niobe Labs featured, and okay. then Crucible Pinnacle weapons returning. So that's like the Recluse, the Mounting Top, the Not Forgotten, and oh, 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 always forget the other one. And the Red War... Uh, recap mission so a bit like we've kind of got at the moment with kind of Cade going into the final shape there's those recap missions that you can play they believe that that's going to be something that also is going to be around so possibly in in the next couple of months I mean we've got Guardian Games then we've got Iron Banner and then um, yeah it's kind of it's going to be into the lights and I I think that's one of the ways that they could probably get more people to kind of come back as well 
You know, we've put skimmers in the game. We've got the Red War mission to kind of get people refreshed on what actually happened at the beginning of Destiny 2. We've got the Black Armory weapons, which are pretty cool. And imagine if we get an origin trait with those and new perks. That's going to be amazing. Yeah, I just, the only thing that I that I really, 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 really don't want out of everything you've just mentioned yes. is for us to have to go back and reacquire. The recluse ain't so bad, but the mountaintop? Oh, my God. God. I don't. I don't think you'll have to reacquire it because you can buy the other ones from the um, in the, in the kiosk kiosk in the tower. So you can just kind of use the kiosk to do that. I would never like to see those hand cannons again as long as I live. I, well, apparently I, they're still know. pretty good in the crucible. Yeah, no, and they shouldn't be. They they should be removed from the game and deleted forever. And whoever designed them should be should be taken out and beaten with sticks. <laughs> I, well, I, you, I, don't, I, you don't have of, the hand all, cannon doing all the work for all, you. All of the metas that I do not miss, that one is the king of them. Recluse yeah. was bad. At least the recluse you could see coming to melt you. The Not Forgotten was just, oh, I've I've been nuked from somewhere. Oh, with that man with the hand cannon who just like looked at me and I'm dead. You yeah. think the Igneous Hammer is bad. The Igneous Hammer is like the little brother of this weapon. Yeah, no. so this gun, for those of you that don't know, this gun, if you got two headshots, the third one would do a lot of extra damage, right? And I know a lot of these guns can three tap anyway, but back then you couldn't. So being able to go pop, pop, pop just was, it was so strong back then. And it had like probably more aim assist than it should have, given the fact that, you know, its perk is, is based on, you know, getting, you know, headshots, you know. But uh, yeah, not forgotten. And um, Luna's Howl. Luna's Howl, yeah. Yeah, That's those were things. But they were, I mean, as bad as those were, the recluse mountaintop combination was absolute cancer, and I'm all for it. I want those to come back so bad. Let me let me have my rocket launcher crutch again. You don't go in the crucible. I will if that's a thing. No. <laughs> Can I get my recluse mountaintop back? Hell yeah, let's go. Let's let's get it. <laughs> Uh, Plus, with all the changes that they made, hold on. No, I was talking to Mike about this because he can't stand the changes, and I'm like, dude, oh, I'm oh, all look. about these. Oh, so, 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 Micah, who who quit the game and is never coming back? Yeah, right. That one. Um, because he hates. The, he says it slows the game down. He says they've increased the health and they've reduced the special ammo that you have to get. And even once you like meet Correct. the threshold to get more special ammo, it it only gives you like one bricks worth. And I'm like, good. I am so tired of being slide shotgunned every 2.2 milliseconds, okay? That needed to happen. So, yeah, Micah. You know, yeah, Micah. Oh, yeah, God, Micah. Right off the air. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, no, I'm all about it. And I'm as soon as this, this not focus, what's it called? This thing that's happening right now for the Guardian Games, the focus activity or whatever, as soon as that's mm -hmm. over, I'm going to go in and I'm, I'm going to try that out. Because somebody's telling me to get the uh, platinum medallion for trials, and then go into supremacy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can double dip with the uh, supremacy. Basically, the crucible thing and the trials one is it's counting, or at least it was early in the week. And uh, as they fix nothing else, I assume that's also not fixed. Yeah. So I mean, I could totally do that. Get some platinums from that thing. So you know, I'll give it a shot. I'm, I'm gonna try it out for the first time forever. And no, I'm not going to stream that because I'm not going to be embarrassed. <laughs> not yet, not yet, anyway. But um, yeah, no, I'm all about those changes. Have you, have you guys? I mean, you said that you have, right? So now that you guys have been into PvP, I how played do one you game of supremacy. I, I, I'm going to have to come back to you next week and tell you uh, how okay. it feels. Did I? I, I, I haven't set foot into PvP this week because I've been doing nothing but Nightfalls, uh, dungeons, and Gambit. Oh, and, and farming, farm, farming Cali. Oh, oh, no, was it? And farming Cali, which we're doing right now, and also, yeah, join eight, eight, nine team and four. So, yeah, no, I've been I've been doing things I don't normally do. So uh, PVP is taken because I said, well, I have two more weeks to do PVP. It's not going anywhere. They're not gonna they're not gonna make any changes. Yeah. To I can I can go enjoy the good class versus class Guardian Warfare and PVP. Turn to you, Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> they're not gonna they're not gonna make any changes to that at all. Mm -mm. No, Do I, I need to get what. a card for Trials too? Not just the not just no, the Guardian Games, but the Trials no, card as no, well. Oh yeah, you need a Trials card to go into Trials. No, no, no. Supremacy. For supremacy, like, though. Somebody no, was no. saying that, that works no. for Supremacy too. No? Okay. Not that I know. Okay. But what I do know is that I have some videos to cover to 
help you through your Guardian Games experience and what you should be kind of farming. And I believe Parody also has some as well because I've seen some kind of drop in the mm-hmm. uh, in the chat there. So hopefully we're not going to cross over, but we might do. So we'll I see. have <laughs> Ibontis's Shoot to Score Platinum Top 10% Competitive Nightfall Score Guide. So that'd be handy coming up for this following next week. Uh, the updated 2024 guide for the Prophecy Dungeon, like I said. Um, we have the where is it? the Relentless is back. Crazy two bursts with Astacross. So he's going over the Prophecy weapons. Uh, the Vigilance Wing apparently is now S tier. So respawn, grab your Vigilance yeah. Wing and head into PvP. Because according to Unknown, it is S tier. And he shows you why. Then I have the new compressed waveframe grenade launcher. Surprise me from Astacross. Yeah. And then I think my final one, because uh, I don't want to cross over with parody, is Dead Zone Guide. Now, mm-hmm. Manstruli, Manstrul, I think it's Manstrul, has done a guide on how to tune your dead zones for your controller, because this is a new setting that's kind of come with this update. And I was a bit confused about what it was actually kind of doing, but it kind of sometimes can correct your drift. And he shows you in his video of how to kind of do that. It's 18 minutes long, but it kind of does explain it in detail about this new setting. And also don't forget that you can go into your settings and now adjust your radar to have a black background. So you don't have to worry about kind of it being opaque and not being able to see anything in crucible. Just so I'd remind people about that. I had forgotten mm. that. Thank you. Yeah, the the drift thing I saw, and I was like, uh, I think I'm probably good where I am because that's not going to help me. But the radar will be helpful. So thank yes. you. That is that's useful. Okay. So what do you have for us this week? Uh, for this week, I've got, well, first off, you know, I, I'm always going, here's a bunch of weapons. Are they any good? Are they worth Are they worth yes. grinding for? Is it worth my time to go collect these? Um, and the first one is Lake of the Flash is like, go get yourself the sidearm 2.0, a Traxapos. It's not a scout rifle, it's a sidearm. <laughs> and it's very, very stable and can get very, very quick times to kill. And he doesn't so much have, like, he sort of has a, like, here's sort of my recommended god role, but there's a bunch of, it's basically, here's a big perk pool. Any of these would be good based on your play style. So he has a bunch of recommendations in terms of, you and know, who was that? Uh, Lego La Flash. Lego La Flash. Lego oh, L-E Flash. Yeah, I yeah. know who that is. Yeah. So he's got the sidearm 2.0. Um, and as Night Demon has, Ibanta telling you how to get high scores. I've got Esoteric telling you how to always get a high score in Guardian Games every time on every Nightfall. So this one isn't like, I think it, this, the gameplay is of the inverted spire, but but it, it's a quiet video where he puts the text on the screen of, hey, here's what I'm doing and here's how to do this. It's basically like seven tips for maxing out your high score, which is applicable across the board to go in and just, you know, murder things and, in, in, uh, you know, emote get those finishers and just max out your, your medallion so you can get your skimmer to be exotic. And then once you do that, what can you do with your hoverboard? Well, TDT has you covered. That will tell you all the things you can do with your hoverboard. And then finally, are any of these worth, worth, you know, getting data says data has the, so any of the guardian games weapons worth getting or not. Nah? And he'll tell you, are they worth getting or not? Nah? I'll tell you, go get your tracks supposed to respawn. I'll go tell you to get your title. And you're and Bungie says you're going to get the hullabaloo, so you're covered. Bungie you'll have, says, you'll have yeah. all sorts of them. Accurate. They're like, here, have 50 of them. Would you like 50 of them? Here you go. Have 50 more. Now, we do have a respawn report roundup, and I think I've taken out all the things that we've talked about already this week, because there was a lot of crossover between what's, what's been tweeted, what's been twabbed, and what we've already just spoken about. Okay, uh, this is from At Court Projects, and it says, as of update 37.3.5, major spec no longer works on many bosses. Yep, knew that. Uh, and champions only effective as elites. Wait, wait, hold on. Major spec no longer works on many bosses and champions. It's only effective versus elites. So now there is nothing nothing that does extra damage to mini bosses or champions because boss spec doesn't work on champions and now major spec doesn't work on champions what the hell bungo are you going to come up with a fourth perk that says oh this one's effective on champions that's so stupid why would you do that boss spec now covers both of them 
and bosses disregard. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I still I, think it's stupid. Whatever. I, was like, I, I could tell him or just or just let him keep reading and, and reading <laughs> reading is fundamental. <laughs> reading is, look, what did I say the other day? Reading is power, and I'm a weak. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and some constructs. Big one spec combines major and boss spec. Yeah, I do that. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> and now everybody else does too. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, Destiny Bulletin Instant Loot Glitch Lost Sector is completely broken right now. That's already been disabled. That's irrelevant. Lego, Lego Le Flash. Oh, speaking of, speaking of videos, did I post one about um, uh, a Strand Ninja for a Hunter build? Did I post that in the videos? Not that I've seen. Damn. Uh, I'll, I will try to find it. I mean, Outlook not so good, but there's a video from somebody I've never seen before, but it just popped up on my feed, and he had a build for Strand that made Hunters like mm-hmm. invisible all the time and heal like crazy. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I used it. I brought it in Grandmasters. It worked wonderfully. So I wanted to post the video, and I guess I forgot. I'm going to try to track that thing down. But it's really good. Um, anyway, so Lego Le Flash has called it. But that text is so tiny. There it is. Uh, fix an issue with players who have unlocked a weapon pattern via Riven's Wishes and don't own the Forsaken Pack will now be able to craft that weapon. Fix an issue where players could swap weapons faster than intended in combination with a grenade or grapple ability. Uh, yeah, and, that's and you know, yeah, because people were people were way. abusing the one two punch grapple combo, and now you can't do that anymore. Uh, fix an issue where bonus damage from the surrounded perk would not apply to rocket assisted frame sidearm detonation damage. Do you really want that to apply? Because doesn't that hurt you like a rocket if they're too close? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, it, it's your your surrender wasn't giving you the damage it should on the indebted kindness, and now it is. Yeah, and but what ind- I'm saying in, is, in the indebted I'm, kindness, if that rocket, I'm not, explodes, I'm not standing next to them. I'm not standing next to the PV things I'm shooting it at. But, that thing but hits like more of a truck. You are standing next to them. That's what I'm saying. You know, near things, but yeah, not next to. You. I mean, and no, I mean, it's not. It's not like a rocket launcher. I'm I'm shooting things near me. They're not. I'm not po- holding into their skull and pulling the trigger. Okay, I mean you should, but whatever. <laughs> Good I mean, energy. Doing, doing that too, and it's working I great. That, dude. Uh, we lost the trials game today because our teammates would just randomly go AFK every single round at the weirdest times. After the stream, I found this DM. I was the one who was half AFK. I'm not supposed to be playing video games right now, but my mom kept coming in my room, so I had to alt tab and go ask. Oh, go AS AFK. Sorry. <laughs> Which I Bro. just, I mean. It's just beautiful. You're 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 on you're on with the grenade, Jake. You're getting your carry, or you just got you know lucked into the lucked into the team or whatever. Yeah, and it's like mom walks in the room. <laughs> um, I mean, hey, yo, respect the grind. You know, no, yeah. no, no hate from me. Respect the grind, but ah, lol. Uh, I endured seven matches of countdown rush for a sixty-one stat artifice armor piece. Oh no! And it's yeah. intellect and recovery. <laughs> two sets you don't need. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah, that's funny. Uh, yeah, no, I feel your pain, bro. I, I feel your pain. I mean, not because I did PvP, but getting low rolled and wrongly rolled artifice armor is painful. It really is. Whew. Okay, DMG says, is the Twitch reward medallion available right now? Have everything linked up, but both the Twitch rewards page and the in-game UI is saying I'm not linked up. And that's all it says. I don't know what to take from that. Yeah, I mean, it just, it just, you know, I just think it's funny, you know, the for- former community lead also having the same problem. So we're all having problems trying to get this thing to work. <laughs> right. Um. Okay, Don, you're such a troll. Uh, Don Ozarda sent Tony Hawkmoon, and it's the 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 skimmer with a Hawkmoon attached to it. <laughs> or not skimmer. Right. Yeah, skimmer. Yeah, yeah, it's a skimmer. Mm-hmm. All right, so Lego La Flash says, oh, Gambit is currently the focused activity, but the 
cop is so low, population is so low that everyone is going, I'm sorry, is so low and everyone going knows hunters always win focus activity. So matchmaking can't find a single game. <laughs> ah! It's what you get for playing the wrong class, Lego. You can play a hunter. Well, no, it, but you're also playing hunters. So he's saying everyone's on a hunter, so you can't find any other games. Because everyone switched right. to Hunter so they could get the packages. Oh, uh, y'all be trolling. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. You stick with your damn class. You don't get a package, you don't deserve one. <laughs> don't join my side because Bungie, we're putting all the work in. All right? Bungie, Bungie no, no, agrees no. with you for what it's worth. Yeah. Stupid. No, you always, you always, you always give hunters crap about how oh hunters are this and hunters are that. Yeah, but the moment it suits you, you play as a hunter, huh? Don't come over to my side. You didn't see me jump into warlocks and titans during the Guardian games when they were winning, did I? No, Except because when you had I to have play honor, huh? Except when you had to, but we won't talk about that, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, no, no. That y'all don't get to talk smack about hunters and then be a hunter to, when it benefits you. No, sir. Stick to your class. Um. Anyway, uh, to clarify some confusion, uh, this is from Destiny Team. To clarify some confusion with the passage of persistence, if you lose while at zero wins, your card will become flawed. What? Continue. Passage of pers oh persistence. I'm I'm so used to mercy. I didn't know other ones existed. My bad. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the new card that, that came with the patch. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and it, okay, it will become flawed and will not remove wins or losses or reward the adept at seven wins. To fix this, if you lose while at zero wins, we set your passage to remove the flawed status. Well, duh. Um, if you lose while at zero wins, we set the card. If you're over zero wins, losses won't flaw the card. They'll remove a win, and you can keep going. Oh, that's cool. Uh, would yeah, the Guardian yeah. Games focus activity packages appear? Yes, DMG. Thank you. I have no idea how this reward structure works. Again, if 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 the guy who used to communicate again, and, and like, and this is not me picking on DMG. He's again just he's one of the people I still follow on the Destiny list. I just thought it was funny that he is also right alongside us now, struggling with the game. Going, guys, how is this supposed to function? How how do game work? How, how does loot? How does loot drop? When when does loot happen? And again, this is DMG. So I thought he was addressing the questions initially. No, he's oh, yeah. asking yeah, the no, no. questions. Yeah, 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 no, DMG's is out, out here in the wild with us going, oh, hey guys, um, how is this supposed to work? How, how, how game, how game work? Where, where, oh. where, where, where things come oh, from? That's so funny. Okay, it, it continues. Yes, I'm being lazy. I have played Supremacy and Strikes and such, but I've not gotten a package yet, likely because I'm playing the wrong activity. I mean, no, bro. No, no. It's not even or, that, dude. Or you're playing, playing the, the right activity. Window, we don't know what the other packages are, bro. Trust. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or you're playing in the wrong window and they're just not <laughs> dropping. Yeah. Freaking For two reasons. Uh, so this is reasons. from Ascendant Nomad says bad UI UX for this event across the board. I don't think you're being lazy. I oh he's replying to this. Oh but yeah, he's, yeah, he's replying oh, to okay. DMG. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't think you're being lazy. I genuinely had no idea what a focus activity package was until I watched Datto's video. Wow. So 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 everyone is going to Datto to help them to help understand how Destiny works is what we've yeah. learned here today. <laughs> So, oh, there's more. Oh, I thought that was it. Okay, okay. Uh, at Destiny 2 Team says, the final Riven's Wish question is now live, and as a bonus, will reward a total of two Wish tokens once completed. You will have until the release of Destiny 2 The Final Shape on June 4th to complete all six quests for a total of seven Wish tokens. Ha and za. Um, you can accept those quests by visiting Marasav in the Helm uh, so you get seven tokens total. You can you can get one full red border and both of the mementos, and that's it. Yeah, or or two exotics you don't have, or you know every exotic you don't have, and that's yeah. Uh, so I mean, there's uh, yeah, you know, it's one extra one. So if you're if you're trying to decide before between hey, I could get this or get that, and now now you, while in the land of war, you can get both. Actually, yeah. 
So you can accept them by visiting Mars Solve in the Helm and just learn by me. You can also turn them in by visiting Mars Solve in the Helm. So, zap, yep. right? Same lady uh, gives them to you, turns them in. Mm -hmm. yeah. To alleviate Mongoose errors, class based matchmaking has been disabled in the Crucible and Gambit. Get this for the remainder of the Guardian games. Now, it doesn't say for this week, it doesn't say for next week, it doesn't no. say until we get a fix. It says legit the remainder. They have two whole weeks to address the problem. Actually, from when was this day? When was this posted? Like like late late yesterday, like late Friday night. Okay, so, okay. so 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 like so we, we almost we almost had a full week. You know, yeah. we we had almost a full work week of the game. Not even a full so, week. So give give or take two and a half weeks to fix this issue, and they're like, nah, we hate even nah, mm -mm, nope. <laughs> We're not we even not. Yeah. We're, we're, we're just going to take away, you know, we, 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 we talked about, you know, the class-based matchups going with your class to, to Crucible and Gambit. Yeah. And I, no, no, no. Why so, would you? I mean, you don't need that stuff. Why would no. you, why would you want to play with your, with your other classes to, to get this done? I mean, that, that's silly. I mean, why? Let's have, let's have a, let's have a seasonal activity and then remove the seasonal activity. Let's have Iron Banner, but you can't play mm -hmm. Iron Banner. Let's have Trials. But trials you can't go into, you know. Let's have a nightfall, but there's no nightfalls, right? This is the best business plan they've ever come up with. This mm -hmm. is amazing. Uh, and finally, last but certainly not least, uh, this is parody's words, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we just issued a change to apply scaling to focus activity scoring to help balance out the population difference between classes because Bungie sucks. Uh, we're given a boost to Warlocks and Titans over the weekend based on previous class concurrency and we'll issue a more permanent fix early next week because Bungie sucks. <laughs> Although the overall event scoring is based on an average medallion score, which is how it should be. I mean, if you're not going to just count raw numbers, at a minimum, it should be an average. Stop boosting people's numbers, especially when they're just jumping to 100 and complete the rewards anyway. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Anyway, although the event scoring is based on average medallion scores, focus activities have been dominated by hunters, as it should be, due to them having higher numbers and players understandably switching over to the hunters to get the rewards. You traders, we'd like everyone to play our class, I'm sorry, your class of choice for the next few focus activities so we can monitor the changes. Go rep your class and don't let the hunters win without a fight. Yeah, you've been skewing our numbers for two years straight, and apparently now this will be the third year. The one time they minimally screw with our numbers, you see how many hunters really come out to play, right? And they're like, oh, no, we can't have that. Let's skew the numbers some more. <laughs> Stupid-ass bungee. Leave the numbers alone, you know? We'd like okay, give, so. give the hunters their win because there's way more of them. The hunters right. need the numbers. They they need this win, guys. They need it. I mean, come on, dude. You you're making a class activity for who's the best class or who likes a certain class the most. And they're like, oh, wait a minute. This class activity where the whole premise is who likes what class the most. Uh, we should mess with the numbers so that who likes the class the most actually doesn't matter to the people that like these other classes less. And, and and then we should remove any reason to play the class against other classes. Yeah, just so ah. so not not only are, are we gonna are we gonna weight the numbers to try to even things out. We're also gonna remove the two games where you could directly compete against each class mm -hmm. by mixing the teams with a little bit of everybody. Yeah, so I mean, I, I still stand by for the new guys. Every year I've said Guardian games shouldn't be a thing because of the number disparity Dispar disparity, right? It should be right. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like if you're gonna do this, you've gotta, yeah, like you've gotta pick. I mean, at least you know, for all the people going, well, you know, you know, don't wait the numbers, show us how it is. Well, I mean, of course, it it went exactly how you'd expect it to. Right. There are way more hunters. The hunters came out. They demolished everything, and then everybody switched to hunter to get the reward package. Because again, this is a looter shooter, and they've got a bunch of charts and graphs basically showing. Look, here's people here, and then here's people switching over here to do this thing. Because of course people will. Like I don't blame anybody for going. Let me switch to the winning team. Because it's not. It's not like you start the week and declare a, declare your class. 
and then you start you know, the game you know, to play you know, class. You know, you know, and then and then stick with it to like right like, like it, it, again it's a just it's a decision in the game that carries no weight it means nothing you're going well, i'm I mean, going to be this now well until i go switch and be that oh this know, focus this, this, this focus thing starts game. for four hours so let me go switch over to hunter and get this package and then go back to what i was doing or whatever this is lebron james in destiny form i'm not winning with my team so i'm going to go to this team who is winning you know just, yeah. I mean, just it's so treacherous that y'all are always slamming hunters for not winning the Guardian games because they keep fiddling with our numbers. And the one time they leave our numbers alone, now everybody jumps on the bandwagon. Don't no, you you made your bed, sleep in it. You don't want to play a hunter. You you give hunters all kinds of crap. Stick to your class. Don't jump over to us because we're doing the work and collect all rewards. Stick to your stuff. Accept your loss like we've done the past two years and move on. Do not do not be like this. That is a bad person right there. Um, and that's why I wanted to say this to the end because I knew you'd be thrilled. <laughs> right? No, no. Hear this. Hear this. The Warlocks had a slight lead up to the first focus activity of the, the event. And then Hunters won. And the winnings jumped them into the lead. Warlock continued to push and dunk more medallions than any other classes until the second focus activity. <laughs> and then hundreds came out on top again, right? Because, I mean, of course, we have the numbers on our side, and as long as you don't mess with them, this is how it's going to play out. That's why this should not be an event. Yeah, or at least, at least not, you know, not in how you're staging it. If it's, yeah, you, you, I mean, you know, the numbers they show, it's like there's like, you know, 20. You know, like the total number of accounts, there's like about, you know, 20, 20, 25 percent Titans, 30 ish percent uh, Warlocks and like 40 plus percent Hunters. So it's like, yes, of course, there's going to be <laughs> surprise if, if you're playing 6v6 and one team fields 12v6, the team who fields 12 is going to win. If, if, if you're going on, on, on the football pitch to play a World Cup game and one side fields 11, and the other side fields 22. Guess which side's probably going to win, guys? Uh-huh. Like, you know, you know. You could have this as, oh, we're going to do this and compete. Like, one, it's silly and none of this means anything. But, you know, it's just, it's, it's an event that just feels sillier and sillier, especially when you take away, you know, if you, if you do want to have us at least compete against each other, at least for bragging rights, saying, hey, my team of Titans now, versus my team of Hunters. Something for the like, like, yeah. yeah like, like, at least that's something. But then you've taken that away because it's broken. What's up, Demo? So, so I can't play in Crucible. I can't play in Gambit. We can run strikes against each other, but that's even not, uh, I mean, that's not a com- competition. That's just, I did a thing and you did a different thing and we can compare notes later. Yep. Like, and, and, let's, and let's ignore this. Here, here's another thing to add on to that. Forget the numbers for just a second, right? The numbers are the way they are, whatever. So Bungie's like, the. it says, what's happening now? Let's look at yesterday. It appears the Hunters uh, lead hinges on them winning focus activities. So apparently the focus activities are weighted way more than non-focus activities. So the hunters have done such that, you know what, I'll just do my own thing until a a focus activity comes, and we flood the focus activity, we win that, and that's weighted more than all the medals that are dunked during the non-focus activities, you know? So that, again, is a numbers game, but it also happens to be that the hunters don't even care about the rest of the stuff, right? We know we have numbers, we go into the focus activity, and because the focus activity is weighted differently, that's all we have to do, and that shouldn't be a thing. The the focus activity should I don't know I don't know about making the the medals way more or whatever or having more platinum or whatever, but the medals the whole time, not just the focus activity, absolutely should matter. You know. Oh but, yeah, they've they've changed. Uh, I was just, I was just looking at the tower to see what the what the current activity is. It looks like they've changed the entire icon like there's now around what is this around like you know the competitive strikes or whatever there's a whole like extra bit of ui around that node yeah and 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 it actually says on that activity focus activity ends in two hours and five minutes so they've moved the focus activity counter from the little standing thing above it uh-huh. into the actual focus activity and, look, and told you it's a, a focus activity which is a good change bundy like you can like i can now go and see at a glance which activity is focused? It's no longer a little baguette, little check mark sitting in the corner. It's now, yeah. hey, look at this one. And when I'm when you hover over it, it says I'm the focus activity, and this is for how long. Yeah. So that's and a nice change. Admit, this but, has only been going for an hour. Only an hour. 
and the Hunters have already dunked two million. The See, I completely missed that baguette like symbol. Three million, you know. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because I mean, that symbol was so small, and like, yeah. So, and not even I've just gone and looked at the tower now, and they've completely updated it to tell you what the focus activity is. That is the focus activity. Like, you know, I don't know when they made that change because they didn't say anything about it. But I mean, that's at least a good change. You can now tell a that there is a focus activity. B what the focus activity is, and C for how long it goes for. Yep. Which before you had to go look at the little, you know, standing thing at the top. Which I've seen some people on on PC, I think Respawn said too, wasn't even visible in the tower. Like on console, I could see it on my TV, but like, yeah. if if for PC, you don't even see that icon and have no reason to go looking for it because there's never been an icon out there before. Yep, you would just not even know focus activities were even a thing, or the the one was live, or anything was happening with them. So I mean, Bungie, yeah. I give you, I, you know, I give you credit. I'm still salty about breaking the matchmaking for two weeks but at least you've made some good UI changes so we can actually see what's going on. Mm-hmm. So we can actually see what these focus activities are. If that's, you know, truly what I as a player need to be doing to try to you know win for my class, I need to know when they're up and, and, and hopefully they'll be up more often. Cause like I said, yesterday I was playing or not yesterday, a couple days ago. I feel like every time when I was playing, there just wasn't a focus activity up. It was always like three and a half hours or the next one. I'm like, well, why, why, if that's what you want me to play, why isn't it up all the time? Why, why does it not just rotate? Why does it turn on and off? Because it's a focus. But I, I actually, that's a good point. Why isn't it rotating, right? So the second the nightfall ends, the crucible should begin. The second the crucible ends, gamut should begin, you know? That's a good point. Why isn't it rotating? It's just gone for however many hours, and then it comes back for three hours, and then it's gone again and goes somewhere else for three hours, right? That's, and, yes! Why and, isn't it rotating? And when does, and when does it start? Like, if I'm, if I'm running around farming Cali until the next rotator begins. Why aren't, you know, no, no, again, you know, they just made this change at some point between like, you know, Friday yeah. and today or whatever, you know, if, if a new rotator goes live, do I get a little pop up? Like, you know, Hey, shops have new inventory. Hey, new, new, cha- new weekly challenges are up. Is there a notification to tell me, Hey, the rotate, there's a new rotator live. It is this go support your team. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to guess. No, because you know, it'd be nice to know, Hey, this has changed. And now it's this thing. Go do this. Yeah, and or if, if you're just running strikes until it timer. changes. If I can figure out how to add a timer inside my freaking, uh, you know, OBS, then they can put a timer. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. It could just be something in the top right corner over by, like, where you see my frames at the top, guys? Just right up there, uh, next event begins, and start at, like, a 30-minute timer, right? And a, count, a 30-minute countdown timer so you know exactly when it's going to begin. It's not a flash that pops up and then goes away and you never see it again. It's up there. It's live. You can actively see when it begins, and you know you got a heads up, right? So there's there's nothing stopping from Bungie just putting up a timer somewhere that says next focus activity begins in this amount of time, and you can just go look whenever you want, or even just it be active on your UI, right? I don't know. I'm asking for a lot. I get it, but come on. If you're going to make a whole ass event, do things that help people play and understand that event, you know? But anyway, um, I was looking at the thing Parody was talking about, and it's been live for an hour, this focused event. And Hunters already have 2 million dunked. Warlocks have 1.3 million dunked, and Titans are 1.2 million dunked, right? So Titans and Warlocks are actually pretty close, which is weird. But look at the disparity between the Warlock and the Hunter. There's 700,000 as a difference in dunk medals between first and second and second and third is less than a hundred thousand, right. Or slightly more than a hundred thousand. That's how it should be. Right. If you, if you weighted the game properly, but you know, you always want to screw with numbers and, and make an event based on numbers. And this is what happens when you don't mess with the numbers. Now I'm not saying mess with the numbers. I'm it's pretty sure those, to begin with. I'm pretty yeah. sure those number changes are live at this point. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're all messed with yeah. now. Yeah, so, yeah. so so these are these are these are post messed with numbers. So yeah. so the numbers we were seeing earlier in the week, where the where the hunters had eight million and the other classes had like no, you know, five and no. three million. Those when I those looked, were when I looked, those we were had the pre thirty seven million. Well, well, and the well, right, well, was eighteen million. Well, right, right. Again, I mean, you know, you looked a different time I did, but you know, the, again, yeah. it was a much bigger discrepancy earlier in the week, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Now the discrepancy is smaller because you know they've tried to balance things out a little bit. Yeah. So. 
back to the rage report roundup as it is today because I'm upsetting spaghetti. Um, anyway, uh, so the focus activities continue to help uh, hunters uh, hold the lead. If you look at the gain rates leading into focus activities, the rates even out, right? So before an activity, it's all about equal. As soon as the focus activity begins, hunters spike like crazy is what Bungie's saying at, or it's getting at. Everyone uh, changes to their hunter and says, let's all go dude, win. My heart is beating <laughs> in my ears. I'm so tilted. Um, whew, this is from Destiny 2 team. Why are hunters dominating focus activities? It's pretty clear. They started out with high numbers, and guardians are changing from their main class to join hunters because they're traders and they suck because they want to get that sweet loot. You can tell when the focus activities occur from the chart below. Question mark? Oh, can you tell? Sorry. <laughs> Reading a power. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, because look, warlocks are almost that even in the beginning. And then as soon as it starts, warlocks dip off. To be fair, it looks like the titans remain kind of even. Their drop off isn't as severe. But warlocks, I mean, like every warlock drops off and jumps on a hunter, it looks like damn near, right? Titans are mostly loyal. Warlocks are traders, and hunters yeah, still suck. There is an That's overall drop. From this chart. I mean, there's an yeah, overall there drop. Is. In the there time, is. So they're doing it. But yeah. I mean, they are more consistent than the warlocks are for sure. Yeah, and uh, and, and, and and the dips, like you know, looking at this chart, you know, like those last couple high dips in the hunter correspond directly with low dips in the warlock and titan. So people are, you know, <laughs> warlock and titan are dipping, and hunter is rising. So people yeah. are going, hey, I can go get a gold loot package uh, instead of you know the bronze or silver let me go do that because you're traders yeah that's why um destiny 2 on destiny 2 team at destiny 2 team uh, we will continue to monitor the data after this change and give you another update early next week probably going to fudge the numbers even more also one final tip you can dunk medals on any class you like regardless of what class you earn them on that's where you screwed up right there if you <laughs> earn medals on Titans, you should be able to, oh, only be able funny. to dunk them on Titans. That's where you screwed up. That's why the right hunters there. are winning. Everyone's going yeah. to the hunter and dunking all their medals to get the good packages. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah. So, so I mean, now, now again, I have to give Bungie credit. Like, you know, respawns unhappy about what's being done. I'm happy that we're getting some information. Like, we're getting some numbers. Like, you know, and and this is what you know. Bungie, this is what we want to see. Give us the graph so you can say, yeah, you know, there's dips, there's rises. Here's, you know, here, here's where these lines are all looking the same. And oh, look, here's where they vary wildly because something has happened. Thank you for not being like, you know, in this play period, we had 67 people playing this thing. Like, you know, give me numbers in a way we can understand. I don't need like the raw data. I need the pretty charts and graphs. Like I'm the CEO looking at sales, not I need to know exactly how many hunters played Gambit in this hour of the game. So again, I you know I give you credit. We're oh, getting some, we're, 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 yeah, yeah, but but I mean we're getting some good data. Like I appreciate that we're getting some information. If we had things like this, you know, you might have almost been able to settle the bet from last year that we're not going to mention it anymore. <laughs> there was no bet. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but again, I mean, like you know, it, it is a nice it is a nice change that they're actually giving us some some level of information and some insight. Yeah. So you know, I you know, I have to give credit where it's due. As much as we've been moaning for the last couple of hours, which no, there's plenty yeah. to moan about, but there's there's good stuff. You know, again, it's give credit where it's due and moan where there's stuff to moan. Yeah, I mean, he's right. That that is a good thing. The numbers are a good thing. I'm not complaining about them giving us the data. I'm complaining about how they are manipulating numbers to get different data. You know, that's what upsets me. You know, if you're gonna have an event that's based solely on numbers. Stop screwing with the numbers or stop having the event, you know? Yeah. This is the dumbest thing ever. I mean, that's sort of what they're saying is, is, you know, sort of the community is manipulating the numbers to a degree going, well, we're going to hang out until we see who's winning and then go join the winning team and get that loot. Because, again, at the end of the day, it's a loot or shooter. Yeah. People want the loot. So, so they're like, yeah, year, I, I'm going to do this and then go change to that so I can get the good stuff. Which, so I mean, why year, wouldn't you? There's no reason not so to. That nothing's they can't do that. Make it so they can't do that. Next year, if you earn the medals on a Titan, you can only dunk them on a Titan. If you earn the medals on a Hunter, you can only dunk them on a Hunter. That'll give even truer, better numbers right there. You want numbers, Bungie? Stop letting people dunk things on a class they didn't earn them on. But they, <laughs> they don't want numbers. They just want us to play their game. Oh, they my God. The night call changed again. My Lanta. <laughs> uh. Okay. It's, well, it is reset for the 
day? Is it so? Maybe it's resetting on the day because it's twelve oh five p.m. here. So maybe yeah. it's. Oh no! But the I, I don't know. I don't know yeah. either. There's a rotation. There's something. It's focused. Uh, raw raw guardian games or go farm Cali or go raw. play prophecy, or you know just go play the game and earn the loot and have a good time with your friends. Indeed. That's what it's all about. Indeed. It's the friend game and the fashion game. That's what we're here for. Yeah, and and, uh, and like I said earlier, for you guys that missed it, Parody's fashion with his little dinosaur dragon pink combo looking thing is pretty on point. I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm. Dragon. I'm still jealous. You got to be a T Rex, dude. I wanted that so bad. You you could be a T Rex. I mean, I'm really. It's no, your own fault. No, You're not a T Rex. No, you no. could be a T Rex with the Pyrogale gauntlets, so you have shiny shoulders, and uh, the Sunrise Warrior shader, which just looks beautiful on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you have the opportunity. You're just you're, you're bringing it on yourself. You're doing this. But I yourself. don't have the opportunity. A, a Titan, unless forced to otherwise, does not exist in in my game. It's just it's not it's not there. It's just not there. For me, anyway. <laughs> you know, I've tried to play as a Titan, and what happened is when I clicked on the Titan, it just it gave me, you know, the, the red circle with the line going through it, like, eh, eh, it, you know? It said, yeah. it said, are you sure? And you were like, no, I'm not sure, actually. No, no, it wasn't even, are you sure? It's like, you can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> We've removed this character from your game. Have a nice day. Yeah. You can use it for storage, and that's about it. Sorry. Yep. Unless you lose a bet by Night Demon. The Night Demon, you know, knows the guy who can, you know, re-enable the Titan for me or whatever. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then I think this is where we say um, good luck and Godspeed on the edit. Thank you for joining us. Your, your mm-hmm. Titans are parody and Night Demon. Your Hunter is no one responds in real life. Stop. The Warlocks, they're, they're out there doing things, too, we, we assume. Uh, you can find this show basically everywhere you can find podcasts. And you can find us live. Twitch.tv slash no one responds in real life and uh, Twitch.tv slash two times in a hunter Yay. for all sorts of fun shenanigans and nonsense. Uh, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. If you want, you know, if, if you don't get up early enough to watch the live streams, you can go watch Noble and Night Demon struggle through their raid, you know, live for them, but not live for you because you can go to YouTube and catch it all later. YouTube is where we have every new episode of this show, every update video, all the live streams on the two times in a hunter account. And uh, if you want to know what happens next week, as I've joked to Noble a couple times this week, going, if only there was a man who made like three minute videos to tell me what's happening next week, I could go watch. There's a man who does that in a pleasing British accent. YouTube, Two Times in a Hunter, or Two Times in a Hunter.com is where you can find all the show notes, all the videos we talk about, all those things we say, hey, we'll put this down here. Here's a cool thing we found. It's all in the show notes, Two Times in a Hunter.com. It's there from now back to 2019. All the things we've covered, it's all there. Yeah. So. We appreciate you. If you want to appreciate us, patreon.com slash TTH, and you can be one of our lovely patrons, and we'll love you and, and shower you with praise and, and fine words. And uh, that's about it, because we're not organized. But uh, we appreciate you and love you nonetheless. And uh, this has been a show. Until next week, we'll bring you another show where we'll cover the TWAB and what other insanity has happened with the Guardian games over the last seven or so days. Right. So uh, until then, uh, farm your Red Border weapons, go get your prophecy, and uh, pay no attention to to the fact that your weapons are facing different directions. That, that's not a thing. Shh, fine. It's all fine, night demon. And, uh, Vince, t- tell the people any f- closing thoughts until next week. Stop playing a hunter if you're not a hunter. There you go. Hunter Master Rage says so. Yep. And that has been that. and a hunter a destiny 2 podcast i mean we've kind of already been starting the show have you guys heard of vishine before i don't, I don't know word. you're making no, it works vishine is so you have your sweet cherries right and you oh have your sour cherries. About the cherries well no, i mean no, no one listen, cares about sweet cherries i i it's not this shut up we're not really doing anything Destiny related while he's doing that anyway. Okay. I've, I've finished but, fiddling. I've finished fiddling. I've I've looked it up. I can't do it, so I'm not doing it, and I can't be bothered. I hate Twitch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> be sure to subscribe at twitch.tv slash two times in honor for all the Twitch hatred and disgust. Yeah. He's not wrong. That's how we do this, right? Yeah. <laughs>